Alexa, restart the song. What the hell? Ryan, are you sorting papers? God, I hope you're sorting papers. Hey Ryan, what's happening? Hey bud, how are you? I'm pretty good, man. We got a hell of a show tonight. Look at look at you sorting and stuff. That's right, FNFA. Hashtag. I'm starting the show with a little bit of the police, Ryan. I could dig the police. I was gonna I was gonna ask the audience, hey everybody, it's Big Daddy. This is the Big Daddy Road Show. This is my sidekick Ryan. What's up, Ryan? It's the weekend. Yeah, it's the weekend. Hey, speaking of police, did you see the police chase today through Hazleton? I did not. What's our hometown police up to? Uh well, I was standing outside of work today and I see this guy in a cavalier come blazing down 309 with about 20 uh 20 state cops following him. Twenty. Uh, yeah, about 20 of them. Ah, oh, God love our our hometown, huh? Uh, he ended up uh, cutting a corner and slamming into a pole. They caught him. Hey, that's a cool story, bro. Now, where's where's my cookie? I don't have any cookies tonight. All right. Okay, well, do you know all we're going to talk about tonight? Did you get the list? I got the list, and I have uh, tabs pulled up for a lot of different things. Me too. I got about 20 tabs. This is going to be a crazy show, everybody. Let me clean my glasses. Going to have to be able to see. Did I hear you right? You said, the, put... you said the Queen of Gore will be here tonight. Well, here's the deal. We don't know. Mm -hmm. And prayers and thoughts go out to the Queen of Gore. Her mother's in the hospital, Ryan, so I don't know. But she said if there was any way, if everything was cool, she was going to try and make it. If not, I'm prepared. Let me get rid of the cookies. I'm prepared to just... We could wing it, you and me. We could talk about Valentine's Day because, you know, I didn't want to not mention Valentine's Day because, you know, it's a cute holiday. Oh, you have to mention Valentine's Day. And uh, interesting thing about Valentine's Day, um, it makes a lot of damn money. Tons. Tons of money. Tons. Tons of money. Uh, I was looking it up, and I don't know where the hell the graphic is. Did I lose that one? I don't think so. Uh, hold on a second. Bruno's already okay. saying Bruno's already saying fuck the government. Fuck government what the taxes. Fuck, Bruno? <laughs> what the fuck? Better question. Holy shit, I just took a shower, Ryan. Yeah. And my I'm so hot. Look at how hot I am. It's gonna be a wild show. It's gonna get hot tonight. I'm steaming up my glasses already. Uh what the fuck, Bruno? You're not it's not even your turn yet. S stand down, Bruno. Uncle Bruno's here. Did you get your comments working? It is. They are. That's great. Right? There's donuts from Bruno. Donuts from Bruno. Uncle Bruno on your screen. He's coming on the show later. This show is going to be fucked, Ryan. Very. Very crazy. And by the way, uh, this show is dedicated to my daughter, 5K, my Morgan. I love you. And thank you for putting up with me. But you know what? The apple didn't fall far too far from the tree with this one, Ryan. You know? <laughs> But she's been working on graphics. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, we got this new thing. Uh, we're going to take a break after tonight's show. This show's so hot. It's going to cause such a stir that I said, let's just hide for two and a half weeks, Ryan, and come back with this great new idea for a Wednesday show. And you, my friend, have the honor of naming it. I yeah. have the honor of naming it. I asked everybody, hey, what can we call the new show when we come back in March? Real quick, shameless plug for that show. Uh, it's called, can you see that graphic? You can't see it, can you? Uh, the, mid, the, pop the midweek mashup. Oh, that's right. We're a little delayed. Yeah. The midweek mashup. You came up with that, dude. I totally dig it. And then that, that means that we can keep the really, really crazy shows, even though tonight's going to get crazy. On the weekends, occasionally, we'll still do the Friday Night Free-for-All, but that'll be for special crazy. Yes, special, very special crazy. Um, 
you know we're going to talk about all kinds of things tonight. Turbulence in the sky. Have you ever seen those carts that go down the center aisle of an airplane? Uh, I've, 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 never, I've never actually been on an airplane. Okay. Well, when you go on an airplane, I'll show you pictures later. But, uh, yeah, apparently somebody had turbulence in this big cart, went in and smashed into people. It was crazy. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about on the show tonight uh, – well, well, we're going to continue my series of, like, what the fuck is going on in? Like, for instance, take this. Get this shit, Ryan. What the fuck is going on in Texas right now? Uh, some dude's going to jail for eight years for apparently making a 3D gun with those one of those 3D machines. Yeah. He How made great? a 3D gun? He made a 3D gun. Alrighty, and uh, he's going to jail for eight years. Next so, thing, you, next thing you know, Pelosi's going to one ban three uh, D printers too. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that too briefly later on, probably when Bruno comes on because Bruno's all about the fucking wall. He likes the wall. Anyway, I don't even know how I feel about the wall. I'm thinking we survived this long without the wall, but maybe there's more to it. So we're going to talk a little bit about the wall because Pelosi is trumping up. She wants the guns. Trump wants the wall. Did I say that right? Pelosi wants the guns. Trump. Anyway, we'll talk about that later, but I'm telling you right now, folks, strap yourself in. This is the Big Daddy Roadshow, Friday Night Free For All, the last one for a couple weeks at least, but meet us on the new time, you know, uh, Wednesdays. I think we start on March 6th. Yes, no, I know I believe, we do. I believe that's March today. 6th. That's the contract. That's what the contract says. Yep. Yep. We all signed it today. Jack Neary. Jack Neary will be on that show. Uh, sadly, Jack cannot be with us tonight. He is out there doing his side job, uh, not his real job, but uh, his side job. He's on his side job. One of his side jobs, <laughs> you know, one of his many side jobs. But he was really racking my brain today. First thing, right out of the gate, Jack Neary calls me. He's like, big day. I got ideas for the show. Yeah, show, 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 show. It's all I think about on a Friday, right? Did you know the strain of the month this month? Uh, oh, God, it's something cosmic. It is not. No, nope. the strain no. this month, the strain this month is, uh, let's see. Oh, it's train wreck, everybody. Train wreck. That sounds Get like your, that sounds like me on a Sunday morning. You should look that up and see what that's all about. Train wreck. Uh, but anyway, yeah, sadly, uh, Jack cannot join us tonight. So Jack Neary, comedian, uh, you're missed. And yeah, a lot of what we're talking about tonight, we're setting up for March 6th. We're going to set up this conversation on March 6th about Amazon. Amazon's getting so big, right? It's getting huge. So we're going to talk about that too. But I'm actually just killing time to see if the Queen of Gore is going to show up because she's taking care of her mother going to the hospital. If right, she well, we'll, uh, while we're waiting, uh, train wreck will leave you euphoric, happy, uplifted, relaxed, and creative. Uh, but the negative side effects could be dry mouth, dry eyes, dizzy, paranoid, and anxious. And its medicinal uses are mainly for stress, pain, depression, lack of appetite, and headaches. I like it already. God, I wish I lived in a state where we could light up. It's a very uh, difficulty to grow. It is easy. Uh, it grows to over 78 inches tall. Uh, yields three to six ounces per squared foot. Uh, flowers from flowers between seven to nine weeks. Well, you can't ask for more information than that on a strain of the month. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Um, so we, we folks, we're going to do the show tonight. I don't know if the queen of Gore is going to show up, but we have a lot of other guests coming tonight. Apparently uncle Bruno and possibly number 32 speed racer makes an appearance tonight. Also, Michael might show up and because, you know, the police started the show, but we're going to talk a little bit about a favorite band of yours. Take a guess. Hmm. Must be Avenged Sevenfold. It is. It is Avenged Sevenfold. So stand by for that if you're into that kind of... This is basically a rock and roll show, but we'll talk about anything on the show. But we prefer rock and roll around here. So, yeah. So look out for 32 Speed Racer. He's the big uh, stock car driver. And uh, he's going to come on and talk to Big Daddy. He just misses everybody. So he's oh, like, by the hey, way, uh, I did put a reminder message in the comments below for Nancy. Oh, cool. Cool. I wonder, is she there? I see that Sam's there. Yes, yeah, Sam's there. Bruno's there. What's up there, Sam? Good to see you. Um, okay, so um, one more time, I'm going to show this, and then I'm going to, 
don't think I'll get rid of this one. March 6, 2019, we return. It'll be a Wednesday, but here's the drill. We can get a lot more people on the show if I go to Wednesdays. Plus, here's the theory behind this, the big change. Ryan, if we go to Wednesdays, we could talk about the previous days, a couple days, you know, the past weekend. Yes. And we could talk about our predictions for the future, what's coming up in the next weekend. That sounds like a great idea. The perfect formula. And if we have a crazy show that we just really want to nail home, we just bust out a Friday night free for all and just go crazy. Because, you know, then we could, you know, shit, you could smoke one if you got it Friday night. But this is, you know, Wednesday's going to be cool. Uh, Nancy is having a phone battery issue. What the? What the fuck is going on down in Tennessee, Ryan? I don't know what's going on in Tennessee. Well, I could tell you right now, there's a lady down there with a battery issue. I think she might need to plug it in. <sighs> plug it in, Nancy. Plug it in. And also, Nancy, if you're watching, you're, she's a great fan of the show. She shares the show like crazy. Nancy, if you're watching, get your mason jar ready for tonight. It's going to be a barn burner. It's going to be a barn burner. We're going to talk about Avenge Sevenfold and a whole bunch more. Ryan, I have to go and take a two-second break. And then we're going to just, if we don't see the Queen of Gore, we're going to start this show in seconds uh and we'll just see if we can get michael up i guess or maybe i don't know when dawson by the way dawson might show up tonight it's crazy it's gonna uh, be an interesting night it always is when dawson's on it's gonna be it's gonna be fucking crazy i'm telling you right now all right let me i'm looking for uh one last thing nope nope oh come on man you're killing me smalls you're killing me Okay, this show has to be slick as snot tonight, Ryan. Slick as snot. You hear me? I hear you. I'm going to let you go. You know what to do. And it's not going to take me long. I'll be back. I'll be back in a second, folks. This is Big Daddy. This is the Big Daddy Road Show. Friday night free for all. The last one for a while. So we're going to really, it's going to get hot around here. All right. I'll be back, Ryan, in seconds. You can I'll be, start. I'll be counting. Shit, not even a minute. Start the clock now. All right, so our straight of the month, as he said before, if you didn't hear earlier, is train wreck. Train wreck is our strain of the month. Its effects are euphoric, happy, uplifted, relaxed, creative, negative possible side effects, dry mouth, dry eyes, dizzy, paranoid, and anxious. Medicinal uses for stress, pain, depression, lack of appetite, headaches, uh, very easy to grow, will grow over 78 inches tall, will yield three to six ounces per square foot, flowers in seven to nine weeks. That is our strain of the month, train wreck. As Big Daddy mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking Avenged Sevenfold. We're going to be talking some of our favorite albums. We will be talking Donald Trump. We will be talking about a Colorado runner who killed a cougar in self-defense after being attacked. This should be an interesting show. Hashtag FNFA. Make sure you share. Make sure you like. Make sure you smash that like button. Hashtag FNFA. Welcome back. Hey, how you doing? All right, so we're going to see if Michael, I don't know if Michael's around. If you're watching, Michael, how about you come live and let's start in a few minutes talking about uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Michael's a big fan of Avenged Sevenfold, too. So if you're an Avenged Sevenfold um, lover, you're going to want to stick around because we're going to start talking about it real soon. Let's just talk about Valentine's Day. Was it cool? It was another day, Big Daddy. It was another day. Your your big day's coming tomorrow. My big day's coming tomorrow. Uh, going to be down in the Helium Club in Philadelphia going to a comedy show tomorrow night. All right. Guess what? Everybody except for us is having problems with their phones. Bad news, everybody. The Queen of Gore, who was on the show last week, if you didn't catch last week's show, go check it out on the Big Daddy Roadshow website, www.bigdaddyroadshow.com. She cannot... Make it on the show tonight, Ryan, for a Valentine's Gore. So okay. we'll just, uh, yeah, you know, it's just a regular day, right? It's just a regular day where people spend like billions of dollars. It's just a regular day. Yeah, you know, nothing special. <sighs> it's nothing special? All right, so anyway, here's what we'll do. Just so we cover Valentine's Day, we were going to talk about like massacres. And some people had questions like, I wonder how many women killed their husbands on Valentine's Day. So, Queen of Gore, if you're watching, that's your question. Uh, we'll still get that question, because that's a great question somebody sent me. Uh, I wonder how many women or men killed their spouses on Valentine's Day. But you know, when I Googled it, Ryan, the only thing I came up with is that gang warfare. 
That's the same, where the, the same Valentine's Day massacre. That's right. You found that too. With Capone, yes. That's what I found. So I was looking into it and I was like waiting to see all kinds of gory stories of like massacres. Now, apparently it wasn't really, you know, something to even worry about. I don't know. Apparently people like, like don't murder a lot on that day. I suppose not. Well, fun, so that, fun fact that I did find is uh, most most partners that are are cheating on their significant other, it's actually becoming very more popular for them to spend the, the Valentine's Day with the partner that they're cheating with rather than their spouse. There's a lot of – they're investing a lot more money into it now than they used to. Just a random little bit of information I had stumbled across. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Bruno's down in the chat. He says, shared and invited as many as fucking Facebook would let. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going to talk about some serious topics tonight, but we're going to try and make some fun of it. Uh, we're going to try and get through it, walk through it, you know, just take deep breaths, people. We'll survive. Uh, hey, can I just show a picture of a pretty lady before we start? Absolutely. Check this out. Raquel Welsh. Do you remember her? She's from back in the day. You might not remember her. What a honey. What a beauty. And look at the dress she's wearing. Could you believe that? I'll bet you that's made by Native Indians, that dress. Unbelievable. I just had to show that. Because later in the show, we're going to talk about, uh, I was looking into like uh, religions, you know, not as commonly known religions. And I was looking into some religions, Ryan. Again, we're going to bring this up. It's called the Red Road or the Red Path. Do you happen to know anything about that? If not, start Googling that shit in the next hour. We're going to talk about that. I will I will Google it. I also found a, a very unknown religion called uh, Unitarian Universalism. What the hell is what? Unitarian Universal uh, Universalism. Okay, I'll bite. What's what the hell is that? Uh, it's a liberal uh, religion categorized by a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. Uni, uh, Unitarian Universalists assert no creed, but instead are unified by their shared search for spiritual growth. Oh, cool. Wow. All right. Cool. That's what we're going to talk about. Some uh, cool religions you might not know about. Uh, guess what, Ryan? What's that? We get to start rocking this shit out. Like, we'll start it out with Avenged Sevenfold. Michael's in the back office. Nice. Let me get rid of the, let me get rid of the hot chick before he shows up. <laughs> Don't need him getting excited. He's still young. <laughs> um, so, anyway, I'm looking through my graphics here. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, here we go. We're going to do a quick little segment on the band. Here's a picture of them. And I was looking, looking, looking. Oh, I don't miss that stuff on the airplane stuff. Don't miss it. Or Trump and the wall. We're not going to go too deep with it. We're going to talk about Amazon. Let's get Michael up and start talking about Avenge Sevenfold, though. And then, and then we're going to finish. We're going to crescendo on that badass motherfucker in Colorado, right? What the fuck is going on? In Colorado with that lion attack. I don't know, but man, I bet you the ladies are after him now. Dude, did you see the picture of his his significant other looking at him? Like yeah. every kid on the planet wants to bone this guy. We're going to talk about him later. He'll be the fi- that'll be the final act on the last Friday Night Free For All. But let's get Michael up and let's talk some rock and roll. This show is not just about interesting conversations. We also talk about like music, cool shit like that. Here comes Michael. If he's ready, give me a thumbs up, Michael. He doesn't give a thumbs up. He's too cool for that shit. Michael White, everybody, on the Big Daddy Road Show. Welcome. Hey, what's going on? What's guys? up, Michael? Hey, Michael. What's going on? I see you're in the fancy location, the fucking garage. I totally dig that rock and roll. Well, yeah. It's nothing better than hang- there's nothing I'd rather do than, than hang out in the garage in the summertime. But since oh, you yeah. been- absolutely, that's just since that's you. Well, we're talking over each other. That's my fault. I'm a little excited. But it's always summer in Texas, Ryan. It's always warm down there. That's why I don't live in Texas. Jesus. So the topic tonight is Avenged Sevenfold. I was just turned on to him, Ryan, by Michael. He's like, Big Daddy, listen to the music. Listen to the lyrics. Listen, listen, listen. I gave it another shot. And you know what? It grew on me like a fungus. Oh, they're a great band. So I'll let you two add it. Um, I would like you guys to ask some questions. I, I believe one of you guys are, well, I believe you guys are both loving the band. 
I believe that there's one of you that might know more than the other, but probably not by much. So I think you guys will be, it'll be better if I just let you guys have at it and you guys could just start out with what you dig about the band, what your favorite albums are. And then maybe we would just have some fun. Michael was going to ask you some questions because I believe it was you, Ryan, that said you might know, like you're one of the biggest fans ever of the band. I've met all of them personally and got to hang out with them backstage. Okay, I would like you also, when Michael asks you the questions, I would like you to show your hands so that we know you're not Googling any of the questions. Just show your hands, please, during the question round. How do you, okay. know, how do you know I don't have one of them fancy chips in my brain that lets me connect to my computer? It's on the Big Daddy Roadshow. It can... Michael, what do you say to that? I mean, I, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's brain against brain, I guess. We'll just go at All right. it. It'll be fun. Cool. All right, cool. So, Michael, what's your favorite album? What's your favorite album uh, and song? I guess. Um, I'm I'm real personal to their. Uh, I like their self-titled album. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Um, I think probably one of my favorite album. My favorite songs from that album is uh, I believe it's almost easy. One of their songs that actually turned me on uh, to Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I actually heard it on. I played it on Rock Band for the first time with a couple of my buddies. And from then on out, I was, I was hooked. Absolutely. Um, a big fan of um, their nightmare album. Um, sadly, um, one of their saddest albums, cause it was the, it was the album that um, the Rev passed away in production of. So that's, uh, that's, that's kind of hard to deal with, but you know, that's that, that album is in remembrance for him. So i I absolutely love that. Great musician. Hey, really quick, uh, Ryan or Michael, uh, is that one of the original band members? He was the original drummer, yes. Uh, James Sullivan is his name. Yes. Okay, I think, I think Michael, I think you're lagging a little bit. Would you please, I'm going to drop you, would you come back on the show and we'll try and get you synced up while we're listening to Ryan's answer and then we'll get into the question round. Got Thanks it. Sevenfold. All right, Michael. Cool. We're going to drop Michael. Now, Ryan, you shoot. You tell us what you dig about Avenged Sevenfold and what, what turned you on to him. And, you know, you can go into it a little bit. Well, the first time I heard of Avenged Sevenfold, I was at a, a little a little show down in Allentown at a place called the Croc Rock. I don't know if you remember. You remember the Croc Rock? No, no, I don't. It was like a little dive bar down in Allentown. Uh, I was not even in high school yet when I went to see them. Uh they had just released their second album, which was Waking the Fallen. Uh, my, f th my personal favorite CD from them was Sounding of the Seventh Trumpet. That was their very first CD. It was released in, if I'm not mistaken, 2001. Uh, there's a song on that album called Warmness on the Soul. It's pretty much like a power ballad. Star most of the songs, piano and vocals. That's one of the songs that's originally turned me on to Avenged Sevenfold. Cool. All right, I'm looking for, of course, graphics as I go, and we're going to see if we can get Michael back. Um, he's left for just a second. Um, so your favorite album out of all those is the first? My, my fa it's, it's, it's a tie between their first and second albums. The first songs I heard from Avenged Sevenfold were from their second album, Waking the Fallen, uh, but Sounding of the Seventh Trumpet has, has the first song that really hooked me to the band. Michael's coming back to the back office. We'll get his his reply, and you guys can just uh, – he's jumping in the seat. I should, wish I could – I should just – you know what? I'm not going to even tell him. He's grabbing cigarettes or something. Just bring him back live. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Don't rush, kids. You're good. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. All right, good. Hopefully, we're going to stay in sync this time. Um, yeah. So did you, hear, did you hear what Ryan was saying? Um, yeah, about the uh, the Waking the Fallen album, uh, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, Warmness on the Soul. Beautiful song. Great song. Uh, Absolutely love that song. That's, as a matter of fact, that's one of the songs that I cover when I play out. I love the fact that the, uh, the singer, uh, Matthew Sanders, is his last name correct? I believe so. Um, he actually plays the piano in the... Yeah that song the classical piano uh fun uh, fun age. fact about that song uh when it was recorded in this studio the rev actually played the piano for that oh really yes i did not know that cool that's what we're that's what we're hopefully going to learn a little bit more about the band hey 
let's do this. Let's have some fun. Let's try to stump Ryan. But before you do, Ryan, tell people how you really got to hang in with the band. Uh, I was in a band that was somewhat big in this area when I was younger. Now they're big, big. Uh, the band's called Motionless and White. Okay, cool. So shout out to Motion and, Motionless and White. Ryan, great, you great play. band. Uh, right, cool. I did Warp Tour with them a couple times and got to hang out backstage with some of the bands. And the very first Warp Tour I did, uh, I got to hang out with Avenged Sevenfold backstage. That's cool. Awesome. And you um, and you had some conversations with them, and you also told me that you knew like how to play like damn near every song they ever play. Uh, up until uh, their third album, which I believe was City of Evil, yeah. So at the time, you knew damn near every song they played. Yes, that's cool. All right. So anyway, folks, Ryan is our Ryan on the Big Daddy Road Show is boasting about he knows so much about this band, and I believe Michael has five prepared questions quickly. We'll do a speed round here, and we'll see if you know the answers or not. Please, Ryan, keep your hands showing. Keep your hands off your dick during the speed round. Thank you. Okay, take the take it away, Michael. Okay, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about five, but I can shoot you a couple. Um, I didn't do my homework as as uh, as promised, but you know, sometimes that happens. Shocking. Uh, That's shocking. What, what was the um, what was the video game that? Um, Avenged Sevenfold did a lot of um, music for. Ah, oh, shit. That one I don't know. I know they did a couple for Madden. Um, it's actually uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, All right. Yeah, I didn't play. I actually quit Call of Duty. I think it was on, uh, what was it, Modern Warfare. So I wasn't there for that one. <laughs> hey, Ryan? Yes. That first answer was a train wreck, says Bruno. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Question: How many questions do you have? Three. Um, that was that was actually um, my best question. Um, what? Everything, everything, Wait, I mean, he, he he knows everything else. the The order of the albums, which was which is what I was going to ask the members of the names of the band. Um, I mean, he he he's pretty much got it. Like, that's. Okay, I write. All right, this is great. So I gave you one fucking thing to do, Michael. One thing, I said. Hey, yes. I you. Well, of course I you're gonna have to have ten questions in case he answers your questions right before he even. The god Ryan's like a goddamn like uh, Buddha. He knew your questions before you even asked them. That's how good he yeah. is. Uh huh. That's why I was like, you know what? These are gonna be no good. I'm just gonna have to have one really good one. Ryan. Guess what? We're gonna flip the coin and we're gonna throw this. No, no, no. Hold on, Michael. You smart ass, you. I'm gonna now flip it and we're gonna have Ryan just make up questions out of the blue. Ryan, three questions for Michael. Go on Avenge Sevenfold. Uh, what was the title of their first live album? Their first live album? Yes. Um, was it not Warmness on the Soul or not? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Sounding the Seventh Trumpet. No, their first live album. I, I have a question. I have a not a question. I don't have a question. I have an answer. Can I have an answer? Go ahead. Okay. I don't even know this band, but is it Avenged Sevenfold Live? Uh, live in the LBC and Diamonds in the Rough would be the that's correct what answer. I was going to say next. I was going to say that next. Okay. Michael, that's zero points for you. Next question, Ryan. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Here would be a good one. Uh, what was the title of their second single that they released? Oh, crap. Um, um, Ah, uh, geez. Um, what was it? Do 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 that's, I a got goose egg. That's a big goose egg. What's the answer, Ryan? Uh, the answer would be Unholy Confessions off of their Waking the Fallen album. He's all for right. two, everybody. So if he was at the if he was at the uh, home plate, he'd be in big trouble. I'll two give you I'll one give you one. I'll give you one more, but I'll make it an easier one. No, just pitch okay. him one right in the chest. Let him walk this one. Let him walk this one off, Ryan. Hmm. It's baseball season. Go Phillies! Woo! Representing Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Big Daddy. <laughs> Mm. Rock and roll. You're really, uh, you're really me making me work for another, for a third one to knock him out. 
I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him an easy one anyway, though. Uh, who is the drummer that uh, that replaced the Rev during their Nightmare album to finish the record? Uh, it was Mike Portnoy. Ding, correct. Okay, cool. You got on the board, folks. That's. Uh, I'll just give him a home run. Way to way to play it. I'm gonna class the, the drummer right. from Panic Attack, right? Uh, Dream Theater. Dream Theater. Well, yeah, the, the song that plays Panic Attack. Yeah, Dream Theater. Yeah, That's, I was close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Well, that's right. Ryan uh, and and both Michael and Ryan, I'm sorry to say, is he still talking? I see his lips moving. He's like a Chinese movie. No, nope. I think you're I think you're good to speak, Big Daddy. Go ahead. I don't know. What did he say, though? Now I want he was really on a tear there. Michael, what were you saying? I have no idea. I can't remember now. Everybody else heard it, though, so it's okay. Turn the page. Let's turn the page. And uh, the answer to the next question, by the way, is the White Album. Okay, here's the question. I gave you the answer. Here's the question. Guys, whoever gets this answer first wins. Michael and Ryan, up to the up to the starting line. Here we go. What's the coolest Beatles album ever? Go. The White Album? Ryan, home run. You win. <laughs> you might want to sit out the next couple of plays. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Even, even, uh, even Bruno knew the answer to that question before it was asked. Hey, listen, will you come back maybe and talk to Bruno? You know, Bruno about that guy Steve. Remember? Yeah. Don't forget about Steve. I got to drop you, but because don't fucking mention Steve until you get Bruno on. I don't want nobody else to know about Steve until Bruno <laughs> says it's okay. Gotcha. Thanks for coming on the show and talking about Avenged Sevenfold. Well, Michael, it was fun. Something. One more thing. Me, Michael, guys. one more thing before you go. Before you go, Michael, one more thing for Avenged Sevenfold fans and people like me who are recent new fans. Guys like me who didn't give them a shot. Michael, what's your favorite Avenged Sevenfold song for somebody new? Um, uh, if you're into something, if you want something a little more slower, Michael, um, I, Michael, take your time answering. Don't rush. Okay, I'll give you a couple suggestions. If you're looking for something a little slower, um, I would suggest Dear God. Um, very, very heartfelt song. Um, if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more upbeat, um, I'd probably go with um, maybe Brompton Cocktail or uh, Unbound is really good, too. All right. I'd also like to put a little, uh, little, little footnote in here. If you're into kind of bizarre sounding Avenged Sevenfold songs, uh, Fiction off their Nightmare album, probably one of my favorite songs off any of their more recent albums. Okay. Hey, Michael. I'll catch you later. We'll talk about Steve. Hey, also, yeah. if you if you wouldn't mind, uh, since I'm busy on the show, could you get with Dawson and see if he's even interested in coming on later? Yeah, I'll see what I can find out. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. We'll see you later. Thanks, Michael. That was great. Ryan, that was great. I've had sevenfold, everybody. I was clapping. The guy, the kid was talking over me, Ryan. The kid was talking over me. You believe that shit? Golf clap. No, I was I was clapping like Pelosi, but she was clapping for Trump. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. I don't want to be talking about that long because politics pisses people off. It shows about staying positive. Hey, really quick, Valentine's Day sales reached $17.6 billion last year. This year's sales were expected to total $18.6 billion. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Yeah. I wonder how much, I wonder how much money uh, people would have been spending if they weren't buying for two people. Say it again. So I wonder how much less money would have been spent if a lot of people weren't buying for two people. I'm telling oh. you, I, I did some I did some research, and there's a lot of people that spend more on the person that they're hooked up with versus their spouse. So you're saying what you're saying is people are double dipping. I think so. What the fuck? What the fuck is going out there on out there, America? What the hell is going on out there, world? You said double dipping, and I can't help but think of Seinfeld. Go ahead. The double dip, the double dipping episode. I don't know if you watch you Seinfeld. Or not. Dip? You can't double dip. There's no double dipping. If I see anybody, if anybody double dips on Big Daddy, I'll stick a fork in your hand. 
And you think I'm kidding. Fucking ask Bruno. He'll tell you. What is he saying? He's really active in the chat tonight. He's very yeah. active in the chat. I need to get him up because there's something down with Steve Ryan and fucking uh, only Michael knows what's going on. I think we'll find I out. See, uh, I see Nancy's here. <sighs> Nancy made it. So she did get plugged in finally. Everybody like it. Everybody say hello to Nancy down below. Also, Ryan, have we decided what platform we're going to be on or what's, are we going to switch software come March 6th or is that later on? Well, uh, I guess that's kind of up in the air right now. I'm still waiting on some of the parts to come in. Uh, one, one of the parts did come in today for the computer that I'm putting together for you. Right. Uh, power supply came in for it. Uh, software wise, I think we're going to take a look at XSplit again, since you're going to be on a better computer. I think it's going to be able to run it. No shit. Well, a computer that will be able to run it. I think so. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. I might, I might have some free hands. God knows what I'll do with them. Hopefully none of, none of this have to save that for Friday night free for all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't usually do that live. <laughs> Look at them drinking a local favorite farmer's iced tea. Yeah. It's <laughs> actually uh, the, the Clover farms one now because it's the half gallons aren't farmers anymore. They have the Clover oh. farm stamp on them. Oh, but it's the same stuff. Yeah. It's the same stuff. That's just like crack. I hear. Yeah. A little bit. Well, this is the same half gallon from last night. I try not to drink too much of it. Dude, it's been killing kidneys since like the 50s, I think, in this area. Yeah, pretty much. A lot of kidney stones from it. All right, so let's get rid of this. Hey, one more shout out for the Queen of Gore and prayers for your mother. We missed you tonight, but she'll be back with some more gory stuff. Probably Wednesdays. I hope it works for her, too. I don't know what she works, but the whole point of going to the new Wednesday night time slot with uh, the new show, the midweek mashup from Big Daddy Rocho, is uh, to get more people, so, like all my comedian friends, you know, and think about it. Even people in rock bands and stuff, they're working on the weekend. Yeah. Some rock bands are working on Thursday nights, Friday nights. Crazy. So anyway, Queen of Gore, shout out to you. Uh, it's always cool having the Queen of Gore on. All right. Absolutely. Okay. So moving on, this airplane, let's talk about airplanes. You never been on an airplane ever? I've never been on an airplane. The first time I was ever on an airplane, um, Ryan, the uh, pilot couldn't get the plane started. We were in the plane strapped in and uh, he got out of the plane and he hit the motor with a hammer, like a mallet hammer. Yeah. And he got back in the plane and he started the plane up and it started fine. I was like, fuck it. Let's do this. <laughs> it started. I figured it didn't have to start again. You know, well, no, it might have had to have started again if the motor went out up in the air. That would probably definitely need a starter working properly. Uh, is Are we talking about the Delta flight that was, uh, let's see, going from Southern California to Seattle? Are we on the same story? I think so, man. It was a crazy flight. Here's the details. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, let's see. Uh, it says three on Delta flight sent to hospital after turbulence forces emergency landing in Nevada. Uh, 59 passengers and four crew members. Uh, five people were injured Wednesday when a flight from Southern California encountered severe turbulence turbulence in route to Seattle. Aviation turbulence. turbulence. Avian, aviation official said, you're fucking me up now. Avian <laughs> they got the avian flu. On yeah, they got, they got the avian flu. Uh, the, no, flight the flight was uh, landed in Vegas. They had a crazy... Ryan, look up really quick. What is, what causes that? It's like a down thrust, isn't it? Like the air pressure, like faster winds and slower winds or cooler winds. And I don't know. What's the details there? Look that up. I'm going to show the pictures of – here's the, the, the little girl ride. If you've never been in a plane like you, here's the girl. Well, it's not just the girl anymore. Guys serve these things. It's a big cart. It's made out of like – it's just like almost like a rock and roll case kind of, like an anvil case. Yeah. And it held sodas and snacks and peanuts and all this fun stuff you used to get for free on an airplane. Now they charge you nick nickel and dime you. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Okay, uh, uh, ter turbulence occurs when cold and warm air come together. It's most common at altitudes of 7,000 to 12,000 meters. Uh, however, all forms of air turbulence can be caused by a number of factors, including heat, jet streams, and flying over mountain ranges. And that's why the graphic shown on the screen has a picture of an almighty mountain. There it is, just like Ryan just said. And you can see all the squiggly lines around the airplane. And 
somehow magically it drops. And if you've ever experienced it, it's, it'll really screw your shit up. It'll screw your stomach up. And But what happened in this story was one of these bad boys, Ryan, check this out. As a matter of fact, let me get rid of the squiggly line graphic because it's really not that big. And unless you're watching on a big screen, you probably can't. You'll have to watch the show over on like a 70-inch screen. Um, anyway, where the hell was I going? Um, yeah, here they are. This is what the thing looks like, Ryan. Check this thing out. This thing, and I hate to be promoting Coca-Cola because they're not paying us, but there it is. That's what a typical cart looks like. Yeah. So it kind of runs down the center of the plane. And the, some of them look a little longer, but that's typically kind of like what it looks like. Mm-hmm. It's a little longer now, I think. Anyway, um, when that turbulence happened, that freaking thing went up in the air, and that's what caused the pain. You understand? Like that yeah. thing, go, when that thing's packed with soda cans, imagine that thing with like, 150 soda cans in it. You know what I mean? What kind of drink would you like, sir? Oh, I'd like a rum and Coke, please. They got to open up the can, give it to you, put the rum in it. Give it, No, I guess you put the rum in it. Anyway, yes. you've never heard a play. It's, it's relevant. That's relevant. Forget I said that. What happened was that damn thing went flying through the air and hit Uncle Frank in the head. He's got oh, a good, good thing it didn't hit Uncle Bruno. Uncle Frank, okay. Okay, Uncle Frank gets dodged. You're cool with it. Well, here's what it looks like. It's not pretty. Here's what it looks like. And this is what happens to the plane. Also, when you go through turbulence, Ryan, this is what happens to the airplane. Just so you know. Is, Ryan, that, a, is that a graphic from the airplane movie? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> told you. It's crazy, this show. Yeah, that movie, if you haven't checked it out, if you like funny, check out all the airplane Oh, uh, by the way, I I noticed that the uh, the description of turbulence I gave was in meters. Uh, translate over the feet, it's roughly twenty three thousand feet to forty thousand feet that you will occur turbulence. <clears throat> okay, and would you do me a huge favor? Here's also it doesn't just happen to to the guys that are you know guests or bought a ticket for a ride. It's also the staff getting beat up by these uh, carts. And here's some pictures of the. Stewardesses wear neck braces. So apparently this is a big problem. I had a theory, by the way, I was talking to Jack Neary about it. And Jack said, or I said to Jack, I said, what they should do is put some kind of like safety release cable on some kind of like a, you know how you have your curtains and you, you know, like those curtains in the doctor's office, they pull around. Yeah. Put some kind of cable that kind of can run a track down the center of the airplane and have some kind of emergency release if it's got to get out of the way. And Jack's like, no, he said the stewardess should have gotten the damn, as soon as the turbulence started, she should have been putting that thing back in a secure spot. Yeah, because they pretty much strapped those things in from what I understand. Hey, cool. Shout out to Kevin. Kevin's watching uh, from uh, that motorcycle show. I keep forgetting what the hell it's called. Bruno, tell everybody in the chat down below what that show is called. Kevin, what the hell is his name? He's supposed to come live with me, but he never does. Uh, Stockwell. Stockwell. Huh, that's it. I said, he's got a great show called The Grind. I'm just fucking with you, Kevin. I love your show. I wish I had more time to watch it, but we're trying to produce a better show here. The Grind, check it out if you're into motorbikes. Get with Uncle Bruno. He'll he'll get you the links and all that. Or Bruno, put the links down below. And if Kevin ever wants to come live, well, he missed his chance. Sorry, so close. So close. <laughs> uh, but we do love you, and I love motorcycles. And what I've learned mostly about watching The Grind is get rich and pay cool people like Kevin Sockwell to do your bikes. Okay? That's my tip. If you have money, don't go trying to be a hero and making your own bicycle in a fucking garage and putting a motor on it because it's fucking hard work. The wiring alone, I've seen Kevin do on his cool bike on a show called The Grind. Yeah. But we're networking with him. And I'm only fucking with him. He can come live anytime he wants. He said he's here now. now. He's here now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Sockwell. This is the Big Daddy Roadshow, and uh, we are moving... So we didn't have space for you tonight, but maybe you can come back on the 6th of March if you're prepared, if you got the balls. Think he's got the balls? He's probably got the balls. I don't know, but he said our show's looking awesome. <sighs> well, yeah. We've been at this for like, this is like our 300th live. I got people behind me now, Mr. Sockwell. I got people that I can count on. You know, you know what it's like. You know, you've dealt with the audience. You know, anyway, can we talk uh, quickly? Uh, one last thing. It was just curious. It was bugging me. Brian, could you look up how many times a day? Um, 
how many times a day like uh, airplanes take off in just America? Like, is that out there on Google? If we Googled that? Uh, we're going to find out now. Let's get rid of that horrific uh, graphic. And I have one more picture to show people some poor bastard that took it to the head. Um, here's the interior after turbulence of a plane, Ryan. This might keep you from being on a plane ever. And here's some poor sap with like a towel on his head. Usually they give those towels to first class and they don't give it to average citizens. But in this case, the guy took a crack in the skull from a Coke uh, delivery device. And, uh, you know, he was holding it to stop the bleeding. Nobody even helped him. He's like, they're like, fuck you. The plane might go down. I'm going to strap myself in. It's every man for himself. Crazy. Uh, the most the most recent data I could find was from 2014 and an average of 102,465 flights per day. Uh, that's in the in the world. That's in the whole world. Wait a minute. How many? Uh, 102,465 flights per day. But that's globally. Uh, the United States is roughly about one third of all those flights. So you figure roughly about 34,000 flights a day are from the United States. How about fucking Sockwell is in my chat right now, that ball buster, asking for, like, advice how to run a show. You want to know how to run a show? I'll tell you, Kevin, and then you got to beat it, okay? I'll see you on the 6th. And if you're not there, Bruno's going to come knocking. <laughs> fucking Uncle Bruno's going to come knocking on your ass. Sockwell, March 6th, be there. Don't be a pussy. I just built some tension there, Ryan. A little bit. The audience is fucking freaking out right now. <laughs> Everybody, we're only kidding. It's the grind biker build off, like Uncle Bruno says. Go check it out. Google that shit, and go see my boy Kevin. He see, can... once once we uh, get our new software, I can uh, get sound effects up and have uh, sound effects of people freaking out. I'll tell you one thing: you better have sound effects for Uncle Bruno when he comes live tonight. You better have something, or I gotta fucking get Alexa cranking. Hey, by the way, Alexa, make me a steak. I want to see if she. You can ask for more information. Alexa, stop. Or for I didn't say I wanted a recipe for a steak. I said, Alexa, Alexa, order me a steak. I'm sorry. I cannot deliver steak to you right now. <laughs> what the fuck is the point of having Alexa? You know what? The only thing she's good to me for is music. I use her like for like a radio. Well, she did say right now. That means it might happen in the future. Oh, it's going to happen. And we're going to talk about that with Jack Neary on March 6th, everybody, when we're going to touch on it tonight just a little bit, Ryan. But Amazon, is it getting too big? The whole thing with New York City and the fucking Amazon thing and the people are back in Amazon and the, po the political people are saying, fuck you, Amazon. It's crazy in New York City right now. What the fuck is going on in New York City, Ryan? I couldn't tell you what's going on in New York City. That place is like a country of its own up there. It's a lot of people up there, man. My theory was they wanted their new headquarters, which, by the way, they already have like headquarters. They don't need a headquarters. They already have one. Why do they want to be in New York? That's what Jack wants to ask on March 6th. But we're going to talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, right now, if Bruno is anywhere nearby, I'd like to have him up. And there's other people that I sent links to. But um, let me check my messages because I probably got a, what they call a shit ton of them. Okay. All right. Okay, actually, I got zero messages. This is rocking. People are digging the show. They're not busting my balls on my private messages. But here's the thing. Rumor has it possibly, again, number 32 Speed Racer might be joining us tonight. Could happen. He likes Uncle Bruno. But here's the problem. His kid's got like 102 fever, and this is the problem with live shows. So I guess if the kid is like, you know, taking a nap at 11 or whatever, or whatever time I told him. I forget what time I told him. we got a lot more shit to talk about. This is a barn burner tonight, folks. This is the Big Daddy Road Show, Friday Night Free For All. And uh, we still have way more to talk about. How many planes took off in the world, Ryan? Uh, 100, about 103,000 and change. Be before, Globally. Before we were interrupted by that Sockwell fella from the other internet show. A um, hundred and some thousand a day. 103,000 and change, yeah. You can't come down with a number in in the in Americas, or just uh, America? no, you just globally. And they said about a third of those flights uh, were coming to or going from the U.S. A third, a third. So so about thirty four thousand in there somewhere. Thirty four thousand flights a day. 
shit. On average, probably about 130 people a flight. I'm guessing. Just kind of throwing a number out there. That's sick. That's sick. That's a lot of planes in the air. But here's the problem. I don't get how they're taking off anymore. I haven't flown in a while. As a matter of fact, I haven't flown in a couple of years, but I'm planning on get, doing a trip real soon. Well, if you figure on average 130 people a flight and you time multiply that by 103,000 doing like a global a global statistic, that's roughly about 13.4 million people that are flying daily. Look at this fucking picture. Oh, this way. Look at this fucking picture, Ryan. These fucking planes are taking off. Like the airports are getting crowded, folks. We need to fund our airports. This is why Big Daddy suggests we don't build the wall. Not that I don't know that we don't need the wall, but I'm thinking we could use snipers or something for, for the real badasses, not the kids. I would just take care of the kids and give them like jello shots, not jello shots like shit. I would give them jello. I would give them jello <laughs> and cereal, like crunchy, sugary, like, you know, the good kind. I'd get General Mills to donate it, and everybody would get like their own cot, and everybody would get to play games and shit. I would, I would make laws where we could bring good people into the country easily. People that want to make their lives better, as long as they're not dickheads. And I would take that money saved and I would start fixing the infrastructure in this country, the, the bridges and the roads. You ever see the potholes in Pennsylvania, Ryan? Uh, we live in one. What they're the that fuck? big. They're that what big that we live in one. What's going on in Pennsylvania with the potholes? Did you Are see the good? Did you see the meme going around uh, that said "Happy Valentine's Day" in Pennsylvania, and it has the pothole shaped like a heart? <laughs> yes, I did. As a matter of fact, it's on the Big Daddy Roadshow Group fan page. If you want to check it out, and how do you get there, Ryan? Well, here's how you get there: you go to www. Ugh, I get so tired of saying this. Like, don't people know where this is already? I would <sighs> think. You would think, like, you know, how many shows? 300 lives just on be live tv a shit ton a shit ton of shows yeah by the way if you ever wondered how much a shit ton is it's actually 264.2 liquid gallons good to know you go to bigdaddyroadshow.com and you can go to links to all my social media twitter instagram and all that shit hey sarah's here i know i know i didn't want to make a big stink about it because if i do she's gonna be like all right i'm leaving (laughs) <laughs> she's probably going to come live she probably wants to know what the strain of the month is she probably missed the beginning of the show pretty standard i want to see i want to ask her did she survive valentine's day did she how was her valentine's day if we get her live we'll ask her in the meantime i'm hoping bruno's up but if not maybe sarah could maybe sarah sarah do you still have our links you still got them <sighs> look sarah look nice picture Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. It's an oldie but a goodie. Friday Night Free For All, everybody. This is my cohort, uh, sidekick, Ryan. Looking at him. Uh, You're looking at him right now. He's right there in front of the cool tapestry, which I would like to buy a few of those, Ryan. They're nice. I like it. I I moved to the opposite side of my studio tonight. Totally should have. Yeah, you got like this whole new look. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at how I'm shining. Very shiny. I want to get... Are you busting... Hey man, you should get one of those. You should get one of those jackets that has the LED lights in them. Yes, yes, I could rock that, and I should get some size 18 sneakers donated to the show too. From like, I don't know who should we go for Adidas, Nike, or should we go with some upstart sneaker company? Go with an upstart. I think we should find an upstart. I think we should find upstart companies for everything. For my jackets, even though this is pretty baller. Look at this purple liner, right? Yeah, the T-shirt's six bucks, but this coat cost me some cash. <laughs> it makes up for it. it. Makes up for the shitty T-shirt. Hey, actually, a, a a baseball T-shirt's not really cheap if you if you're not buying like the knockoff ones at the at the at the farmers market. I'm not I'm not a Phillies fan. Sorry. Okay, Ryan, you don't have to be a dick on my show. I have I have I have a cousin who's a manager of a baseball team, so I follow them. You have a a famous. Family member? A famous family member from Hazleton who happens to be a manager for a certain baseball team that plays in Chicago. The Dodgers. Perfect. (laughs) Your family member is Lasorda? No, my family member is Madden. Joey Madden. It's the manager of the Cubs, yes. 
From Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Yes. Cool. He's a good guy, I think. He is. I think he's like a really good guy. He's misunderstood in what he wants to accomplish sometimes. But yeah, he's a good guy. We should totally get him on the show sometime. He comes I'm, back to Hazleton. I'm, I'm lucky if I can even talk to him for five minutes. No, 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 no. No. I'll get Bruno to call some guys. Okay. There you go. Get Bruno to call some guys. guys. He'll make a phone call. He'll make a phone call to this guy. Anyway, uh, let's see. Sarah, can you hit the button and let's get you in the back office? Sounds dirty. Uh, Michael Dunson from Atlanta, Georgia says, Atlanta Braves, baby. Ho, 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 ho. I used to hate that when they used to do that at the, at the game. But the Phillies play the Braves. Um, and I used to hate that when the Braves were hot back in the day. Remember? Yeah. They're not hot no more. No. This year, though, love from Philly. Get ready. Get ready for the bell to ring. We're going to ring a lot of bells. This isn't working too good. No. No, it's not. <laughs> what the fuck do I got to do to get this right? You got to got to go higher higher up on the shirt. I got to cinch it. I got to cinch it. Philadelphia. Hey, guess what, Ryan? Breaking news. What kind of breaking news? Fucking breaking news. Sarah's in the back office and she looks high as fuck. Breaking news, everybody. It's the Big Daddy Road Show. And Sarah, who smokes legal weed, by the way, it's not illegal. We're serious. Uh, it's medical marijuana. I know it's a dirty word, marijuana, but it shouldn't scare you. Just look into it. It's a cool plant. It's not a train wreck. It's not a train wreck. Anyway, let's see if Sarah wants to come live on the Big Daddy Road Show and say hi for a few minutes. Be a good break. She's like, not even high. I think she's going, I'm not even high. Maybe it's one of those nights. She's not high. Hey, Sarah. Uh, how's he hanging? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's your question after all these weeks <laughs> off of the show? What did I miss? <laughs> what did you miss? Well, I was showing people my left testicle earlier. You missed it. It was oh. crazy, It was crazy. I, I didn't show like, I didn't show him hanging, Sarah. I just showed a close up. You missed it though, so sorry. Yeah, that's that's only available on the paid version of the Friday Night Free Friday. Right. We have a new. Uh, <laughs> hey Sarah, yeah, yeah. Order, hey Sarah, have you ordered any Big Daddy Roadshow swag recently? No, I don't have no money. So you don't have any money. Is money tight out there in Minnesota? Hell yeah! When it's fucking winter outside, yes, it is. What's uh, What's the minimum wage out there in Minnesota? Depends by type of job. Oh, it's about per job out there. Um, I know snow pe- people that do the snow uh, plowing snow. Um, they make like twenty four dollars an hour. Well, what about like what about like your average like your fast food worker your basic job? Uh, fourteen dollars an hour. Not bad. They're hey, not- Sarah. Hmm. I'm sorry, Sarah. Did we just wake you, Sarah? Nancy whipped out her mason jar. Everybody's starting to drink. It's a Friday night free for all. Get your free. Oh, I don't drink. I smoke. <laughs> what do you What do you know about the strain of the month on the Big Daddy Road Show? Um, is that that one strain that uh, what was it? Nope, it's a new one. No, oh, it's it, a new one. Yeah. yeah what is it? Strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Nice. Right? Yeah, it's the strain of the month. You missed that in my left testicle story. Sarah, you even, Sarah, let me ask you something. All kidding aside, do you ever watch the show when you're not on the show? Yeah, I watch it. Can I ask you a question? That I guess I like Jack, that character Jack. Why? He just annoys me. He's a dick sometimes, right? He's a fucking prick. Really? I can't stand pricks. Um... Jack Neary, comedian, you think is a, a an asshole? No, not Kevin. Jack. I what did I say? You said Kevin. Or, oh, they're both comedians. Kevin Neary is a rock star comedian too, but they're the different. guy that has that fo- the sports show. Yeah, but he doesn't only talk about sports, Sarah. Well, he talks about controversial things like Amazon. Do you order from Amazon? No, I don't. Do you have an Alexa? No, I don't. Hey, Ryan, 
Yes. When's your birthday? Uh, next Friday. Next Friday? Sarah. We yeah. Can go, we can go to the show next Friday. Would you do me a favor? What's that? I need to put you on the spot. Uh-oh. Could you leave me in a singing of happy birthday, Ryan? Everybody in the chat, if you want to type in happy birthday, Ryan, please. Sarah, go ahead. I'll give you the starting note. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Hey, oh, thanks. Shit. You were almost. And many more to come. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not too many. <laughs> what are you about? Twenty nine? How old are you, Ryan? Uh, I'll be thirty. Oh, you're just a baby. Uh, Michael Dunstan says he's too hammered to join the show tonight, folks. He's another fun one to have, have up on the show. He's also a he's a he's a person that probably would back um, legalized uh, cannabis, especially for the armed for uh, armed forces. What the hell's wrong with my lips, Ryan? What's going on with Pennsylvania? I've been seeing articles about legalizing it over there. A what? Legalizing marijuana for medical in Pennsylvania. I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're trying to legalize it uh, at a federal level as well. Right. Yeah. I'm all for that, by the way. Yeah, same here. <laughs> nice cup. You know who that is? Name name that cartoon character, Sarah. Daffy Daffy Duck. Yeah, very good. I don't even know if people watch them anymore. Well, I actually, uh, I actually bought the whole uh, the whole series, uh, the the DVDs for for all the old Looney Tunes. Yeah, I have a cousin. Oh, how Alexa. much did that cost? Uh, it was cheap because I bought it on Amazon. <laughs> Fuck! I don't want to see online. What the fuck is with the what the fuck is with the straw? Hold on a second, everybody! Breaking news! Breaking news, Sarah. Uh oh. Guess who's in the back office, Sarah? Uncle Bruno. <coughs> Breaking news, everybody! It's Uncle Bruno in the back office. I'm not going to leave. Hey. Him sit there. Good thing I have Uncle Bruno's music loaded up and ready to go. Hey, Ryan. Yes. Happy birthday, man. Thanks, bud. I appreciate hey, it. Any more? Here comes Uncle Bruno. He's got his hair slicked back. He just got done doing business somewhere. God knows what kind of business. We're going to find out. And, Michael, if you're ready, you can come back soon because I want you to tell Uncle Bruno what you told me about Steve. Happy birthday, Ryan. Hey, thanks, Bruno. appreciate it, bud. Welcome back to the Big Daddy Road Show, Uncle Bruno. Turn down my TV. Yeah, Uncle Bruno, take your time. Didn't mean to cut Sarah out. No, she's, no, not, she's still here. Oh, I can't I, see her. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Hi, I can see you. I, can't, <laughs> I can only see Ryan and uh, Big Daddy. That's it. Put your lady boner away for Uncle Bruno, Sarah, okay? Where's, <laughs> where's, uh, where's Justin tonight, by the way? He's working. He's working? Yeah. That's all that guy does is works, Uncle Bruno. There's nothing wrong. Is he driving Uber tonight? No, he's doing something similar to Ubering. He's shuttle, shuttling drug drivers. Is he delivering uh, drugs? Hey, no. Bro. Yeah. No, Ryan, he delivers pizza. <laughs> is, that, is that what they call it now? Pizza. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Pizza. No. That's pepperoni on it. Pepperoni, huh? By the way, one last shout out to Ryan's birthday. There's uh, one of your biggest fans, Ryan. <clears throat> cool. All right, so uh, Bruno was out uh, camping kneecaps. <laughs> camping what? I don't know. Listen, what do you think about this wall, Uncle Bruno and Sarah? I I love the wall. Here's the deal. I don't. We don't I'm, need I'm, it. I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset because they should be using concrete and bricks like my forefathers, because we really love to work with cement, okay? So that's what I'm a little bit pissed off about. Yeah, yeah, I could see you being a little annoyed by that, not getting to mix the cement. 
Yeah, it's not going to stop they, they, drugs. They're using the friggin' steel wall. You know what I mean? They're not going with the old school way. Nope. The fuck happened to the people you used to call? Dude, we tried. You should get some people. You should get <laughs> new people in the steel business. I wonder now how graffiti the- that wall is going to get. Well, you what? The- you can't oh. be that bad. It won't get. It won't get that graffiti. No, not on our side. No. Uncle Bruno, have you ever gotten hit in in the head by a uh, a beverage cart on an airplane? That's Delta's motto. Delta's motto is they love to fly their carts into their passengers. That's their motto. <laughs> I mean, what can I tell you? Sarah, I have to I have to say good night, dear. We have a full back office. Thank you for coming on the show. Is there anything you wanted to say before you took off for now? Nope. But I did survive the Valentine's Day, so you did survive. What, what, yeah, what, did, what, what did he get you? I got a dozen roses and truffles, chocolate, nice. and I also got a pack of cigarettes. What exactly did you have to survive? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and what else? What did you get him? I got him a nice Valentine's card. Okay, what the fuck, guys? And and she took care of him afterwards, so don't worry. He, they was all set. <laughs> <laughs> did the Remember, Valentine's? Did the Friday, Valentine's? This is the, the, Sarah. This is Friday night free for all. Did the Valentine's Day card have happen. a hole in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are sick. <laughs> all right, Sarah. Sarah, we're going to talk about this friggin' wall for just a little bit, so I know that'll probably bore you. Michael, we lost you in the back office. I'll keep you on for a few extra seconds. What the fuck, Michael? Michael, get your shit together. Get your phone working. Uncle Bruno doesn't have all goddamn where, night. Where is he? Is he in the garage? Did he get Did he get that's a pan? Something, something to tell me and talk about that Steve guy that's in our group. You know, you got yeah. Steve guy? Yeah. Just let him ask you. You'll know what to say. You Sarah. Can, uh, Sarah? What? Happy Valentine's Day, Sarah. It's not Valentine's Day no more. Oh, fuck, Sarah. I'm trying to be cool here. <laughs> happy belated, Sarah. It's happy belated Valentine's Day. Happy yeah, we belated. don't we don't we don't have Thursday night free for all, just Friday night free for all. Right. Hey so. Dave, he's home. No shit. Ju- Justin's home? You gotta yeah, get him just on. Locked in. You gotta get him on. Get him on. Get him on. Let's go. Justin, come up here. Justin. Big Daddy wants to talk to you. Justin, ask him about his night. What kind of passengers he had? There's everybody. There's there. Let's see him. Where is he? There's that gorgeous son of a bitch. How are you? Pretty good on yourself, Sarah. How about zooming in on him a little bit? <laughs> What's uh, going on? Sarah says you were out working. Oh yeah, I did a pickup. A pickup. Oh, no, no, just shuttle service. Of course, shuttle service. (laughs) Pizza, Pizza, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Pepperoni pizza. Hey, will you cover the can? Because I don't want Pepsi and Coke competing for this show. You understand? What's with the fucking... (laughs) Well, it's just... Fucking farmers and the Clover Farms. And what the fuck do you have? Something from where? (laughs) What is Uncle Bruno drinking out of? Hey, everybody that's watching, this is the Big Daddy Road Show. Sarah, I'm talking. Trying to do a commercial here. Sarah, this show is brought to you by water. By water? (laughs) Yeah, listen. It's supposed to be free, but the fucker screwed us. Water. It used to be free. Not no more. Not no more, Sarah. Water's a big... You know that's a big thing. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big deal in Detroit. Right. I won't drink the water in Detroit. St. Michael's in the back office, Sarah. I gotta say good night. Good night. Adios. Tell that, good one. Tell that Uber driving rock star in the background, Big Daddy, say goodbye. All right. Uh, see see you, you, Big Daddy. If you're bored and you have great stories about Valentine's Day uh, sex capades, you can come back on later in the show, real quick before we end. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Friday. Night. Oh, Michael, we're not going to screw around. We're going to get you live. Let's just do this. Let's see if we can bring him up. I want to know what happened to Steve. Oh, that's an airplane. That's that's not Michael. How the hell did we get an airplane? Oh, I know why. Because we're going to fly into thunder and lightning with this shit he's about to spew on the bring show. Bring this up. 
Bring this up. Let's do it. He's got a cigarette. He's nervous. He's starting a cigarette. There he is. There's Michael White. Yes, That's Sean White's brother, right? He's Listen, he's the guy I have on the show to appeal to the younger audience, Uncle Bruno. Yeah, he's Sean White's brother. He's you in with Sean me. White was. The wrestler. No, Sean White was a freaking, he was a, a pro um, uh, ski, you know, snowboard uh, trick trickster. Oh, a trickster on a, oh yeah, that guy. Uh, the Olympian. He's an Olympian. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the dude does the pipe, the half pipe and all that. Half pipe bullshit, that's right. I, I knew right. that, didn't you, Michael? You didn't think I knew about the half pipe? He did, yeah, he does more snow sports than anything, but yeah. Mike, Michael. Michael, yes. what's up with Steve? Okay, so... Just talk to Uncle Bruno. Just talk to Uncle Bruno. Please, tell Uncle Bruno. Get your voice. Figure it out. <laughs> right, Uncle, Bruno. So... Uncle Bruno, I'm going to leave. I'm going to come back. Michael, I'm going to come back, but I'm going to leave. Ryan, I'll be right back. You you run the show with Uncle Bruno. Uh, I don't even want to be around when this little fucker mentions this because I think shit's going to hit the fan on the Big Daddy Road. <laughs> we'll talk about this in the future, too. What happened to Steve? I'm out of here. I'll be back in a minute, Ryan. Hey, guys. Have at it. <laughs> so, um, Uncle Bruno, I'm sorry to tell you this, but Stevie's dead. Stevie's He's dead. Gone. What happened? He, he, um, well, he got on the wrong end of a bad business transaction, and now he's uh, he's got himself a new pair of shoes. He's not doing too hot. Okay. Stevie's uh, Stevie's at the bottom of the. Yeah, he's down there. Perfect. And, uh, he's not coming back, so um, I'm sorry. He's so gone. I don't. I don't really know what to say here. Stevie's dead. He's gone. He's going what with the fish. fuck? It's not my call, though. There was nothing I could do about it. He was good for the show. Yeah, he was. He had his good moments. Interesting. It had to be somewhere warm because up where I am, the ice is frozen. The lake is frozen. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't too warm. It was. It was probably just above. Just above freezing. So he got the thermal shock, and you know. Just yeah, it was it wasn't it wasn't good the whole way around. It was it was all bad, all bad news for him. But and I just I had to tell you that. Interesting. Huh. I can I can see the house got burnt down too. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I'm must, I'm lost they, by the way. I don't know who Steve is. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, they 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 burnt the house, everything in it. Um, yeah, everything's gone. Owed me money. The, the, Steve owed me money, stick. so now who, the Mike, Mike, Steve owed me money, so now how am I gonna get? How am I gonna get the money now? Dude, I, I mean that's the money. Was dead. I wish I had a fucking ha a phone in a phone booth and I could just smash it. Up Mike, Mike, Mike's gonna, Mike's gonna Mike's gonna have to owe me Steven's money. Guess what, Ryan. Yes. Uh, you guys mind if we have a meeting during the show, guys, Bruno and Michael? Um, I would like Ryan to replace Steve because we really can't waste a lot of time on the whole Steve story because Steve was going to be on the show and he was cool. What's what? You have, a, you have two questions? You have two questions. Go ahead, Michael. I, I don't, I don't want to owe anybody any money. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> I don't owe anybody any money. Ryan, you know anybody with money? Dude. Nope. Mike, if they come knocking at your door, just hand them the envelope. If you don't, you could be in trouble. It's going to be like a okay. scene in fucking Rounders, the card movie. What a great movie if you haven't checked out that movie. Mike, just remember, if your doorbell rings, hand them the envelope. Otherwise, yeah. there'll be trouble. Mike, uh, Michael, uh, I just said Mike. It's not Mike. It's oh, What the fuck? Bruno's gone. Bruno, Bruno disappeared. They no, him. you listen to me, Michael. You got to get out of that house. Get out of that house. I'm going to drop you. I'll, I'll have you back if you want from another scene. Come back from another scene later if you want, but don't. He's out too, Ryan. He's fucking God. 
What the fuck just happened? I have no idea. I was completely lost during that whole thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill you in. So outside the show, you know, well, it's actually not even outside the show. This is a stupid show, the Big Daddy Rod Show. Uncle Bruno and I are in. We are in an operation together. You understand? The Steve guy was in our in our group. So you have a position to fill now. You could take that spot. I can get you in. You want to be in with Uncle Bruno that deep? Think depends, about it. Depends what, depends what the position is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, if you, you – listen, I'll get you the details. I'll have Uncle Bruno call you. But don't be afraid to say no. I think he's back. Uncle Bruno's back. The kid's gone. What the fuck is going on? Uncle Bruno's back. Uncle Bruno's back. He's gonna I had pull. to make I had to make a phone call and give an address. Sorry. <laughs> Michael Dunson says he's he's drunk and out. Enjoy all. Love you all. One love everyone. That's cool. Mike was Mike was busy today. I, he 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 instant messaged me and told me that he was hot tubbing. He worked from five a.m. until seven thirty. He is working his tail off. God bless him, man. God bless you, Michael. Yep. God bless the yep. people making, serve making a life. Making a life for him and his family. So that's cool. Fucking A, man. Awesome, Michael. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Um, John Caseco says, what happened? I just turned in. Are you fucking kidding me, John? You missed the best part of the show. You might as well freaking go off now and jerk off. No, we still got great parts of the show. This is a fucking barn burner tonight. I told you people all day. John, what the fuck? He's a U.S. Marine, too. You think he'd be more fucking prepared. John could... John... Look at A, John. Like we, I showed my left testicle. You and Sarah missed that. Okay? Everybody's going to be looking. The purple, the purple rain. The purple rain strain. Not the purple rain. It's strawberry jam and train wreck. They're the strains <laughs> of the month. I think we're going to go to strains in a month now. I don't know. Try to keep up. <laughs> John said, okay, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my iPad so I can see the. Uh... Let me tell you something. If shit hits the fan, I'm gonna go hang out with John. He's gonna Ryan. John's gonna drop tell drop, this drop Ryan again. Drop Ryan and bring him back up so he can bring him on to the uh, screen. Hold on a second, Uncle Bruno. Hold on. I take the kids back. <laughs> Michael, where, Michael, where are you? He's hard to read. He's garbled. Ryan, did you hear that? No. I don't know where the envelope is. Wait, Michael, what about the envelope? um, I'm going to give them the envelope, Mike. (laughs) Mike, give them the envelope. I can't find it. Michael. I can't find the envelope. (laughs) Give them the envelope. (laughs) Uncle Bruno, we have to talk about it. I'm going to try to make a run for it. Michael, just listen to me. Go stay somewhere. Look, guys. Don't move around a lot, Michael. Find a spot and keep the lights out. Wish me luck. Lay low. Michael, Uncle Bruno, we got to call people. I, Michael's close to me. I can't lose Michael. He didn't have nothing to do with this. He was just in the wrong place and seen shit. He'll keep his mouth shut, Uncle Bruno. I swear to God. Ryan doesn't even know about Steve. Nobody knows about Steve and nobody has to know about Steve. You understand? Dude, Steve owed me money. Could I, gotta pay. could I look any more white in this shot, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> drop Ryan and bring him back up so I can see him. Okay. Ryan, I'm going to drop you. Uncle Bruno says I have to. He's gone. It's just you and me, Uncle and, Bruno. Listen to me. And bring him back up. I'm going to bring him back up. But before I do, he's, he's showing reluctance about taking Steve's spot. That makes sense. But the kid did no wrong. He called me earlier. He says, dude, you know about Steve? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, don't even mention it. Talk to Bruno. And now you're all about the money. How does the kid have anything to do with that money? I don't know. I'll bring Ryan back, see if he, see if it works. I, I wonder how he must have fleeced his pocket beforehand. There's Ryan. Nancy's still watching, Bruno, I think. Good. Yeah, she said she was having battery problems and she was trying to plug in. It was getting hot and stuff like that. So okay, yeah, okay, well, it gets hot when you plug in. So it usually does when it's charging. As long as it is, as long as it's not a Samsung, you got to be careful with them Samsungs. Yeah, they like to those explode. Batteries, those 
Japanese are putting, putting bombs in them. Okay, so we're good, Uncle Bruno. Michael's good, right? Yeah, as long as he finds the envelope, he's good. Michael, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the envelope. As a matter of fact, I got the. Here's what I'm gonna do, Uncle Bruno. I was, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me what am I doing for my new diet, and I'm having rice and cheese. That's all. I'm 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 living off of rice and cheese. You guys are breaking out real bad. I can hardly hear you. Turn off your. Like you guys are underwater. Okay, Michael, you need to get the hell out of there. There's going to be a bomb explosion. Get out of the house. Okay. Underwater. Anyway, I'm going to put the money. Bruno, call the people up. I'm going to put the money in the Chinese food container, and I'm going to deliver the money. It's coming from oh. Big Daddy. Perfect. The fucking kid has no signal. Get out of the house, <laughs> Michael. What the fuck is going on in this show? Can I get back to it talking about – let's talk Fine, about Bruno. – Bruno, let's talk about the wall. The wall. Like I said, I'm, we're, gonna I'm a little dis- we're gonna turn the page on the money. I got the money covered. Michael's good. I can bring him back live. We can talk about the wall. Like I said, the wall. I'm only part I'm disappointed is they're using steel. Now the funny part is it would be pretty funny if we build a wall along the Mexican border with Japanese steel. That would be pretty funny. Wait, give me the what do you want to do? What? No, no, no. I'm they're gonna build the wall. With Japanese steel along the Mexican border. That sounds like a clusterfuck. They should be building it with concrete and brick. You know what they should do? They should do half of the wall. It's American to share. They should do half of the wall with the old school Italian way, concrete and block. Right? That way we can all be happy. Nobody gets hurt. Yeah. Everybody gets work. Everybody's happy. That's what they should probably do. Uncle Bruno, you know Jack Neary. Yeah. Comedian, ball buster, provocateur, always talking controversial shit on the Big Daddy Road Show. Yeah, and his and he's got an awesome show, The Shot at Jack. That's right. And he's into sports, and it's like sports like no other delivery. He gives you the details, the nitty gritties. And Very the guy, knowledgeable. guy's burning my brain cells. He's going to be on the show on March 6th. He's returning to the Big Daddy Road Show on a new show that Ryan came up with a name for called the Midweek. What is it called? The Midweek Mashup. Oh, that sounds good. Big Daddy Road Show Midweek Mashup. And what we get to do, Bruno, this is a great show. We get to talk about the last couple of days, like Steve being gone, right? We could just turn the page. We live in the now. We talk about some shit that's going down today, right now. Like, Michael, you can come back on the show. I covered your ass with the money. But you, you understand. You but understand. now I own you. I own you, Michael. <laughs> you, you do understand that the Wednesday night has to be cleared by the wise guy group. You've got that, right? The fucking wise guys? Dude, I thought you had the wise guys. We had this conversation. I just, I just, I, we're going to have a table talk with those hey, guys. Uncle Bruno, right? so, I had. I had an idea. I had an epiphany during the during the police song in the beginning of the show. I said we really need to try everything we could do. Get the word out on the street. I need Catfish Coolio or Cooley to come on my show on March sixth, and I have a part for him to play in our little thing that just, we do. You you just have to just PM him. He'll 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 come back. I'm going to PM him. Yeah, PM him. You knew somebody who knew him. I will see. Why do I work with you? I mean, I know I'm Irish, uh, you know, mafia, and you're fucking Italian mafia. What the fuck's in it for me? I'm out fucking cash now to fucking Michael, and I'm seeing the fucking short end of the stick. I got the shitty end of the stick. So you better fucking <laughs> listen to me. Ryan, what mafia are you in? I'm not in any mafia. Perfect answer. Prank Look. call mafia. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the uh, production. We I'm, in the, a... I'm in the I'm in the production mafia. I'm in the computer right. guru, a, the computer guru a... mafia. <laughs> That's right. When you Pardon. hear the Alexa, play Godfather music. When you hear the music playing, that means Godfather Ryan's pushing. Godfather by Abdul Dave and Sayi on Amazon Music. He told me keep your friends close, but your enemies close. Yeah. Leave the, the last up. Yeah. Take the gun. Leave the family. I never cause any problems. I ain't here for the drama. 
Godfather, Godfather. Alexa, if you come. What the fuck, Alexa? That's not the song I was looking for. I was looking for Bruno's music. Oh, I'd rather not answer that. Of course not. Alexa, I'll, I'll pull your plug, bitch. I swear to God. There's Michael Bruno's music. That's the sound of death on Valentine's Day. Right there. What the fuck? There's more death. By the way, the moaning is still in there. <laughs> is that what did I ask for? Is somebody moaning and pain dying? <laughs> Uncle Bruno. <laughs> did you know? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. If you're out there, phone a friend, and you might have a baby in October. It'll be good for the population. Yeah, population is low. Everybody start fucking or something. I don't know. Get to work. <laughs> Get to work. I think there's too many feminists out there now. Oh, Bruno, don't start shit. We're already getting hate mail. <laughs> hey, okay. hey, oh. hate mail's not a bad thing. That means you're gaining popularity. That's right. All right, so did I – I don't know if I posted this picture. I'm not sure, but I wanted to because I really dig this dress, and I want to just – this dress is cool. Check Raquel this out. Welch. That was the day, the, the heyday. Yeah. There's kids they don't even know who she is. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that noise? I think that's Michael. <laughs> did you hear that? Did everybody hear that? Is he out front? Hold on a second. Let me check my messages. Amazon, I'm reminding you about your coffee. I actually have Amazon's Alexa remind me to make my coffee. Stand down, Alexa. When should I remind you? Alexa, stop. Anyway, it's not Michael, but that sound was frightening. I thought somebody was going to die. Listen, when I asked Ryan to make your music, a little trivia note. I asked Ryan to make your music, and I said, could you please add some moaning? Some girls moaning like they're dying, you know, like the hookers that get killed. No, no, you you told me to add moaning, and I asked you what kind, and you said told me to use my discretion. Yeah, that was so that was porn mo moaning. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was. <laughs> what, did somebody get whacked in a porn shoot or something during that music or what? It's oh, crazy. God, that was good. Well, I kind of I kind of thought mafia, you know, like the higher ups always have the ladies around. That's where my thought process was with that. We remember, hey. stripper lives matter, especially That's on right. Valentine's Day. Look at John, the ball buster. He's Italian. He's Italian. Stand down, John. Don't hurt nobody. John knows how to survive in the wilderness, okay, people? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about Raquel Welsh in that dress, though? Seriously. That's going back a few years. Girls don't look the same today. Even the ones in Hollywood, they don't have the same look. Did you see the post that uh, the Mob King put up? No, no. A guy in a man bun in these wacky shorts and socks and shoes. And he says he knows that he's been gone for a long time, but what the fuck's happened to this world? <laughs> what? The, the man buns just doesn't doesn't cut it. You know what? Okay, don't judge, Uncle Bruno. Don't judge. I, I, I'm not. I'm not judging. Know, we all judge, right? Huh? Oh. What would happen? What would happen if next year Tom Brady comes back and he has a fucking man bun? <laughs> yeah, Bruno. We go to Foxborough and we freaking cut that thing off. And Whoa! He, he can't have one because he can't have one because of the. Uh, Helmets, though that we're we're okay with that. Wow, a lot of love up there in uh, up in up in Patriots country. Yeah, there is. You guys wouldn't the, stand man bun on Brady. By the way, by the way, spring training pitchers and catchers, and the next couple of days, the rest of reporting. the team will be there. Yeah, reporting right. So baseball season is around the corner. I've got <laughs> a lot of people were. Mentioning their teams down below. If you got a favorite baseball I, team, I, I saw that. I put my team. My team's going to repeat this year. It's going to be a repeat year. 
Yeah. What was that team? Boston. Boston Red Sox, world champion. I forget last year's. The World Series was boring last year. It's a boring World Series. Uh, John says, man buns, Tom Brady, someone cuts it off and shoves it up his ass. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Some nights you have, uh, that's why I played the song at the beginning of the show. Some nights everything's just, there's a synchronicity. There's some special nights. You just know it's going to connect and click. Alexa, play Synchronicity by the police. Uh, uh, Avenge Sevenfold we talked about tonight. Uh, Folks, we're going to finish up this barn burner with the conversation quickly. We covered the wall. Did we? No, we didn't cover it completely. Pelosi wants to. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. Hold on, guys. I'll give you the 2018 winner, Don Rock from the University of California, Davis. I think I want something. When you're done, say stop. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. What? It's nice to talk to you again. I think last time we were talking about movies. Would you like to talk about it now? Yeah, what's the hottest movie? Hottest. Alexa, yes. I might have heard wrong. What's the name of the movie? No, you said she was going to tell me shit, I thought. All right, I'm confused. Social bot, are you there? What's the hottest porn movies out there? <laughs> Pruto, stand down. <laughs> a social bot is an Alexa skill that converses about popular topics, such as entertainment, politics, and sports. These social bots are a work in progress, and your conversations and feedback will help the universities working on them develop more engaging AI. Just say, Alexa, let's chat. By the way, a lot of people tell me that The Shawshank Redemption is the best movie ever made. What movie would you consider as one of the greatest of all time? Debbie Does Great. Dallas. Debbie, Debbie Does Dallas. Alexa. I'm glad you like it. She's <laughs> Alexa, uh, another favorite movie of mine is The Wizard of Oz. Oh, Okay. She By did. the way, one of my favorite science fiction movies is Blade Runner. What's the last science fiction movie that you really enjoyed? Star fucking Wars. Jiminy Cricket. I'd rather talk about something else, considering we just... <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. I think she thinks I want to... Does she think that... Does it, what? Okay, Social Bot's horny. Uh, Social Bot, are you there? Ryan. Oh boy. Yes. This is kind of making me uncomfortable. Okay. I'll t- I'd rather I'd, talk about something else. I'd rather get back to my show. <laughs> You're taking up my time, sweet. By the way, what? maybe I'm childish, but I just love the movie Toy Story. What's your favorite animated movie? You just kind of interrupt me like that? You're like every woman. What the hell? Uncle Bruno. Should I pull the plug? Oops, I think I misheard you. Can you <laughs> the movie in, please? Uncle Bruno, give me the give me the sign, your approval. Ask, to, ask them, ask her who will repeat. Ask her if the Red Sox will repeat the World Series in two thousand. Oh, Uncle, interesting. <laughs> I need two possible movies. No, 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 Let no, me Alexa. Which one is Alexa? Right. Stop. Thanks for chatting. I'm not Quick question. Up. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? Love it. Ask if Love. you can have sex with the social bot. Got it. To try another social bot, just say, Alexa, let's chat. Okay. Thank you. Stand down. Over and out. If you can hear me still, over and out. Roger Dodger. Breaker 1-9. Okay. Uncle Bruno, I think social bot. What did she say, Ryan? What do I have to say if we want to talk to her on the show? Uh, Alexa, let's oh. chat. Debbie does Dallas, Uncle Bruno. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. That goes back, that movie. That was one of the dirtiest bitches in America, wasn't it, when that movie came That's out? probably like 70s or 80s. I don't remember. You know what? John's right. Amazon and Alexa's trying to take over the Big Daddy Roadshow. Maybe yeah. we should have her on as a special guest. She's already on as a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Maybe you should, maybe maybe one of the Wednesday maybe one of the specials you can do the Amazon chat bring no guests up and just chat with Alexa. What the fuck, Uncle Bruno? That's brilliant. Do I, what do I do with Ryan? Do I? Yeah, he, get, absolutely. He can, he can come he on. He can, he, break? he can no. He can ask questions too for you to ask Alexa. 
Okay. Chat. What do I? Okay, Ryan. What do we have to say to activate a new social bot? Uh, Alexa, let's chat. She's not listening to you, Ryan. Alexa, let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. Okay, skip. I'll get you the 2018 third place winner, okay. Alana. We don't want to hear Elliot all this Watt again. University in Edinburgh. Shit, I wish when I could. When you're done, say stop. Stop. Uh, Hi, this is hi. an Alexa Prize social guy. Okay. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm we're, really on a live, we're on a live Facebook uh, show. Thanks for asking. Ready to enjoy our chat. So, what should I call you? Big Daddy. Bitch. So you are interested in art. Who is a famous artist that you would like to meet? Uh, Ansel Adams, but he died. A long time ago, guys. I saw this headline on the New York Times about Ansel Adams. It says, your Tuesday briefing. Should I tell you more? Uncle Bruno, you call it. Ask her about Uncle Bruno. Alexa. What kinds of art? What, what about Uncle Bruno? What do you know about Uncle Bruno? Okay. I think you were talking about Bruno Landi. I heard that. Bruno Landi was an Italian no, operatic no, tenor. No, no, Shall no. I tell you more? You want to be a tenor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So who is an artist that you like? I love Leonardo da Vinci. I love Evil Knievel. And Elvis. Yes. And Elvis. Someone was talking about Evil Knievel the other day. Apparently, is the cousin of NFL kicker Adam Vinatieri. So, I was wondering, what's a movie with Evil Knievel that you enjoyed? Uh, any fucking movie with Evil Knievel in? <laughs> or I'm into movies. Can you recommend a good comedy? Um, yeah, what about Mary? It's a good one. A lot of sperm in that movie. Oh, I heard something interesting about There's Something About Mary. Matt Dillon and Cameron Diaz were dating in real life during filming. They've been together three years but broke up almost immediately after the movie was released. So, I was wondering, what's another movie like There's Something About Mary that you enjoyed? Uh, Alexa, stop. I'd rather know why they were just boning each other during the movie and then the movie's <laughs> over, the money was dried up, they bolted. If we ever run into those two, could we ask that question, Ryan? I'm like that. sorry, I got distracted. Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? Alexa, stop. You thanks know, for chatting. Yeah, Quick thanks. question. Uh, On a scale from one to five stars, pull how the plug. do you think about speaking with this social bot again? I love it, but I'm tired of you right now. Okay. Cool. Anybody else see the movie Red Sparrow? No. Good okay. movie. Good movie. Let's see. Uh, throw random topics at the thing. Okay, we'll do that on March. Ryan, write that down. March sixth. Random topics with Alexa. We'll get a camera for Alexa. We'll get a camera going just for Alexa. Oh, absolutely. We'll shine her up. I got. I think I poured some coffee on her. There's a little coffee on her. You I think that. Just like your what? computer. You and the coffee in the computer. You got to okay, We should sell coffee. Find a startup company that sells coffee, Brian. Uh, okay. Not now, though. Don't do it now. Talk okay. <laughs> um, okay. So moving forward uh, in this barn burner. Jesus, this show is crazy. And we haven't even gotten to that crazy son of a bitch that tackled uh, a mountain lion, right? Bruno, that guy, that's what this doing. Bruno. I could he... use that guy in my crew. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Now Nancy Bare, wants one. Barehanded. Barehanded. Okay, so Ryan, I don't know if you've Googled this guy, but I have some information on it. Can we start talking about this badass rock star out there who is what, hiking? Uh, yeah, it looks like he was hiking and he killed a cougar in self-defense and... It looks like the cat died from suffocation. So this dude put this fucking cat in like a, a, a headlock and choked it out. Yeah, choked it out. <laughs> That's awesome. Like and he now, went, he went, he went fucking Hulk Hogan on his ass. And, and now let's segue to the pot smokers that ran into the lion. I mean, it ran into the uh, into the uh, not lion. What the hell was it? The fucking tiger. Oh, no. The tiger. The tiger. 
what the fuck is going on in Texas with the tiger? That's what we were talking about. I you think we should have brought that. you should have brought stock. you should have brought Sockwell up. He could have talked to talked about that because he's in Texas. We'll call Sockwell up and see if he wants to link now. But you know what he told me? I have to teach him things, which means I ain't got time for this shit with Sockwell right now from the grind, the new motorcycle show where they take cool fucking older bikes and turn them into I'll I'll have a conversation with him how to do it when you send him the live for the six. We'll set him up for the sixth. I will have a phone call. He'll personally I I badgered him tonight to come to the page like four or five times. So uh, John says that we should go with Death Wish Coffee Company. That would be a perfect fit. Death they Wish. To, they used to you be a Death, Death Wish, Wish piano movers. What? What? There's a, there's a Death Wish piano movers in Boston, Massachusetts. Shout out to Death. Yeah, whatever. Piano movers. Say that ten times. No. No, I won't. What's up, Nancy? Nancy, stand in for the whole duration of this show. So, so at any rate, getting back to the guy that choked out the mountain lion or a cougar or whatever it was, did you see the way his girl was looking at him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. was what wet. She was wet and juicy. <laughs> you know what, Uncle Bruno? You're that you're that dirty uncle that we all have. You know? <laughs> You're that one guy that we all want to go hang out with back in the alley and just bullshit with. That's why I, said, I love. I sent you that show. video of my buddy's third date. He he did pretty well last night, Valentine's night. Tell the audience about your buddy. Don't say his name. Just uh, mention. So the video. so a friend of mine sends me a video of his girlfriend that he's dated three. It, the Valentine's night was the third date. So she goes with this knockout tight killer dress. They're at a bar and she tells him she has no panties on. And he says to prove it. And she proved it. And that was it. And the rest of the night was history. Uncle Bruto, I love you, man. Lucky bastard. Good to be single. <laughs> and Uncle Bruto, thank you for sending Big Daddy. The video, which we should ask your buddy if he wants to sell on some pay-per-view, see if she's in for making some cash, <laughs> because you're right. She's a doll face, and that's about where I'll leave that. Exactly. Woo, breaking news. I love Uncle Bruno. Okay. I asked, him, I asked him if I could share it. He said he's only got one more date with her, so that's why he said it was okay to share it. <laughs> Okay, every every feminist in the country right now is oh my poking their fucking eyes out with a with a one of your devices, ice pick. <laughs> Uncle Bruno, you're gonna catch some shit for this. Oh my god. So um, what, happened, what happened to the Queen of Gore? I missed some of the uh, earlier stuff. Her mother, God bless her, she's in the hospital or something. Oh, so I don't best know. best wishes, best wishes yeah. to her mother then. Also, one more thing, her phone broke. So we saw Nancy in the chat having problems with her phones. Oh, I think it's a government conspiracy, honestly. I think it's, uh, it's um, what's that shit called? Um, deep state. Deep state stuff. You see, they're on to us now. They know we have a hot show on the internet. They get that. Now they're wondering, what do we do with these fuckers? What do we do with the Big Daddy Roadshow? Ryan, Uncle Bruno, number 32 Speed Racer. What do we do with the Queen of Gore? I mean, this guy's got so many people. Jack what, happened, what happened to the 32 speed racer tonight? I don't know, but if he oh, if he's watching, his son has 102 fever. Why do I have to know all this? This is what it's like on a show with a live show, a, you know, a day during my live show. All day. Are you coming on, Heather? I think so. I want to. I so want to be there, Big Daddy. By the way, folks, Ryan, please put the link to Heather's page down below. You got and, it. Bruno, if you want to put links to all the shows we talked about. If you could do that after the show, that would be great. Yeah. Um, um. So, okay. So moving on. So here's my question with the whole cougar thing. Yeah, I did see the picture. And actually, it's not a question. It's an answer to your question first. You said the girl was all, how did you say it? She was wet. I said she was wet and juicy. Okay. And Nancy says, yes, yes, and yes. Okay, Nancy, I didn't think you'd jump in on this conversation, or that might be all that. I just made you look bad, honey. But it's a comedy show. We got to roll with it. 
Ryan, you're going to get like some kind of liver problem. You're going to get kidney stones from drinking all that iced tea. I told you it's the same half gallon from last night. I know, but you're chugging it down pretty hardcore tonight. I only drink about a half gallon every week. My advisors have me drinking water. It used to be free in America. It's not anymore. Tea stains. Okay, so the guy with the cougar. I got some pictures of the cougar. Uncle, Uncle Bruno, here's the question. You are jogging probably like you do daily on a daily basis. You're out there. You got your sneakers on. You got your running shoes on. You took off the brogues. You're done with the cement. It's time to run. You go to Colorado. You find a state park and you rock it. You start running. And what do you run into? And what do you hear in the trees? Apparently, the guy Ryan heard ruffling in the pine trees. He was yeah behind him. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this son of a bitch, look at this guy. Just let me show you this guy. He's Boom! A badass. Look at these eyes. Look He's got guy. Crazy eyes. This guy could get laid three times a day if he wants to right now. Okay. And no offense to a significant other. She's a doll. She's a doll face. But right now, every woman that has a computer has seen this dude and goes, okay, all right. The ears aren't perfect. You know, he's not, he could get his eyebrows groomed. It could, yeah. But, and the beard. I think that's why the cougar went after him because of the ears. It looked like <laughs> flapping in the breeze. Here's the deal. Did you see that girl? Like Uncle Bruno said, Ryan, looking at this guy. There's I saw it. I saw it. It's on the Big Daddy Roadshow group fan page. I said this picture breaks the internet or takes the prize for the whole entire internet when I posted it. That girl had a look biting her lip like this motherfucker here is going to get fucked so hard tonight because this is my guy and he is American 101% badass. He is a badass. There's no I wish he was in that. my crew. I'd be like, hey, you guys want... You guys want me to buy a round of beer just so you can have the fucking beer with the coolest motherfucker on the planet this week? My buddy took down a fucking mountain lion. Woo! He fucking choked it out. He choked it the fuck out, Ryan. He put a figure four leg he, on that bitch. I, would I, I, wonder, if, I, wonder, if he, uh, I wonder if he gave an elbow drop once it was down. <laughs> fuck. Could you imagine once the cat finally goes limp? You are probably so exhausted at this point. These cats, let me show you some pictures just so you can pee, pee your pants, Uncle Bruno. Uncle Bruno, did you take your pills today? Yeah, Are you peeing good. properly? Okay. I'm How's good. everything with the back? Are you doing okay? It still hurts, but I'm hanging in there. You need anything? You want me to call some of my guys? Send them up. You want some I'm pillows? Good. I'm good. Right. You're walking. Now we're back to the scene where Uncle Bruno is running through the mountains of Colorado, and he runs into this bitch. Boom. Uncle Bruno, you're face-to-face -face with this motherfucker. What do you do? Grab him by the neck and choke him out. Uncle Bruno, that's not true. You're going to pull your piece out and you're going to waste that fucking cat. With <laughs> yeah, but see, I was trying to be nice because I don't want Peter to get upset by by me blasting. You are going to unleash a, a fucking hell of fury firestorm on that cat. I mean, you ain't going to have any kind of, you're going to walk away like, what the fuck, man? 13, 13, 13, 13 rounds and I'm going to adjust my collar and walk away. Unbelievable. Yeah. So you uh, here's another picture of a mountain lion. Look at this thing leaping, right? Then I'm going to show some pictures of this badass when he was in the emergency room and he's fucking smiling. He's not in shock. No, no, no. He fucking lo he loved this shit. After I just, hope that doesn't, I just hope that doesn't turn out to be a fake story like the uh, like the black actor there with his friends there. That's a fake story. Uncle Bruno, I was thinking the same thing. What if? What if? But guess what? It's too good of a fucking story not to run with it on the Big Daddy Roadshow. It is this too guy, no, But if it did turn out, that would be so there, crazy. Was there, any, was there any photos of this mountain lion or cougar choked out on the ground? Was there any? Good question. Ryan, do you have any questions? Look at this guy's face. He's I, laughing. I have no, I have absolutely no questions. I'm going to look up. I'm going to try and fact check it real quick and see, uh, see if there's any legitimacy to it. Cool. I'm going to read what I have on him. I'm going to put a picture of his cute girlfriend who's got a famous picture going around the internet where she looks so excited to be sitting next to this dude, Uncle Bruno. <laughs> this girl, I'm telling you right now, it was actually, it turned everybody on too. There's nobody watched this picture. It wasn't slightly turned on. Right? Yeah. 
I'm telling you, yeah. you looked at him like you're getting laid all night tonight. This guy in Colorado strangles out a cat because I was wondering how he killed him. Did he stick his eye, fingers in his eyes or something? You know, that'd be one of the moves I'd do. I'd try to take his sight out. Then I'd probably pull out a fucking hatchet because if I was out in the woods running, I'd probably have some kind of defense mechanism. I'd probably hatchet his skull. Is that Does that seem extreme? Probably, but extreme situations like being hunted down by a fucking wildebeest you gotta you go. Gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uncle Bruno's falling asleep. Uncle Bruno, you did take your pills. Medication. One on one. All right, we're gonna finish up uh, talking about um, Amazon because Jack Neary's gonna come on on the sixth. And I think uh, I think the divorce is gonna cost him way too much money, and he had to pull out of New York because it's way. It's going to cost him huge money in the divorce. So he's pulling out of New York so he can have some of those funds to pay off the ex and just get rid of her. Uh, interesting theory on the Bezos story in New York. Um, Jack Neary has difference of opinion with you, Uncle Bruno, and he's going to discuss that. And you're welcome to come on the show if you're available Wednesday nights. I know you have a lot to do with the Wise Guys show. You know, Uncle Bruno, I noticed something about you. You got your fingers in a lot of fucking... Dude, I'm telling, and you you heard those guys last night. They they they, they you know I'm, I'm part of the show there. You're part of our show too. I know. I'm going We're, in. I'm going to be in studio there with them shortly. Yeah. If you come in my studio, there might be shots fired. You better let let my boys know if you're coming. I, I would do the same. If I come to your neighborhood, the trolls better hide. Oh, please. Let's not go backwards. Let's go forwards. Let's actually stay on the now. Ryan, tell me something good about this guy. It's a true story, right? Uh, I can't actually find anything uh, fact-checking it. Uh, from what I can find, uh, I would say it's definitely a true story. They actually have a, a camera footage of that, supposedly that mountain lion and a couple of its siblings. Uh, it's and John said in the chat down below that it's definitely within the realm of possibility, and I agree with him. They're not big cats; they're yeah, they're, they're only they're only about eighty pounds on average, especially the the little ones, because that would that that was that was a juvenile that did attack them. It wasn't a full grown one. Oh, so not okay. not that that takes away how much of a badass it makes them, but it was a juvenile cougar. But they're still just as deadly. Right. I mean, he obviously got scratched in the face. So yeah. So, Uncle Bruno, you believe that Bezos, uh, Amazon owner, is hurting for cash. If you look at the bar graph uh, over here, you'll see that there is a trend with Amazon. And this is what Jack Neary is going to address and also some of his theories as to what stock advice. He's going to give people stock advice on March 6th. Well, I, Ryan gave you a good tip the other night. He's telling that that the chances are that Amazon is going to, and I read it somewhere as well, they're going to have their one side of their store and the other side is going to be their media. So keep an eye on that stock when it comes public and jump in. Jack Jack Neary, shot at Jack Sports, a uh, very controversial fella, coming on March 6th on the Big Daddy Roadshow. The new show, Ryan, it's called what? It's called Midweek Mashup. That would be a good strain of the month, Uncle Bruno. The midweek <laughs> mashup. <laughs> hey, you got to you got to talk to you got to talk to Grower X. Grower X. It's true. It's true. Hey, how about Sarah coming on the show tonight? That was cool. That yeah. was really cool. She gussied herself up tonight. <laughs> she was all gussied up. She wasn't in house coat. She wasn't all disheveled. So that's good. She's she's getting herself together. Rock and roll. All right, so I don't know. Bezos, uh, the whole story with Amazon, uh, Jack thinks there's something uh, There's something Jack s sees that he's saying you don't see. Well, both of you don't see. I don't know. Do you even care? Where, do you even care where the headquarters of Amazon is? By the way, they already have a headquarters, obviously, right? Yeah. It's probably on the guy's laptop. It doesn't make a difference to me because I buy from Amazon and I always go with the free delivery, the five to seven or five to 10 days. And it always comes within three days. So I don't pay for prime. I don't pay for extra thing. It's ridiculous. So wherever it's coming from, the, there's got to be some local warehouse that gets shipped to my area in less than in three, in three to five days max. I've never waited more than five days 
for unless it's a back ordered piece and it tells you that it's back ordered. See, their uh, their wow. main their main headquarters is actually in Seattle, Washington, by the way. Right, where all the money is. There's all there's a lot of money in that area of the country. But how does it get? How do I get so it comes all the way to the East Coast? Like I said, I'm three to five. Like if I make an order tonight. It'll be, it, you know, obviously it'll be three business days. So I can almost guarantee next week on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll have that delivery in hand. It's, a, it's an amazing company that can get products to people very fast. I happen to be a Prime user, but I might drop Prime after hearing this tip from you. Will that affect the stocks? We'll have to watch. Uncle Bruno, you may have just fucked Amazon stocks. Tomorrow might open the bell with a lower. You lost like 200, right? It's It, it was devalued by some... But I'm calling my broker after I after we get off here and tell him to dump a few shares first thing. Listen to me, Uncle Bruno. I'm telling you right now. Hold. I think I would hold on to the stock and just wait for the signal when Jack tells you he's. I should get him a red button. Buy, buy. What was that one guy on TV used to have a button? Buy it now. Yeah. That, anyway, Jack. That was, listen to yeah, me. What show was that? That guy had a great show. You might want to pull it off the market right now. Jack's going to talk some shit about Amazon. I'm just going to tease it. I can't tease it anymore. March 6th, it's on. Checkmate, bitches. Jack Jack Neary's on the show. Okay? The guy is unbelievable. You heard Sarah tonight. He's a dick. The guy could be a downright dick, but he does it in such a funny way. He shows you what it's like behind the curtain. You know, he don't even have to move the curtain. You just have to listen to him. He says people are stupid. He says people are dumb. People get butt hurt when they hear Jack Neary on the Big Daddy Road Show. Guess really? what? Guess what? Jack don't give a flying fuck. Okay? He's a crazy Irishman. With and the he's, that he's got, he can do whatever he wants. The Frito Bandito. He's a fucking free agent out there. I'm blessed to have him on my show. Are you kidding me? The guy's got a, he's got a chest... A chess master's brain. Uncle Bruno, don't just get out of the Amazon stocks. Put it in some kind of holding bay for a couple of days till you hear Jack out. It All might right. it might not be that your girlfriend, Ocasio out of Alexandria, what's her name? Cortez? She yeah. might not be all that stupid after all, like you're thinking. She might be pretty smart, and she might not be the only one in New York that's saying it's a bad deal for New York and telling Amazon to pound sand. But everybody's behind Amazon, so we're gonna we're gonna watch where this story goes. And Jack Neary's gonna educate people. Also, everybody should ask Jack about what his experience was when he went to college because it was hysterical. Did he, he go to an Ivy League school? He went to I think a college for one semester, but the teachers were so fucked up, and he fucked with their brains so badly because the one teacher didn't want to teach from the book; she wanted to teach her own curriculum. So they had the book that they had to pay for because the books help pay for the for the stuff, right? That's where all the money comes from, right? From the books, Ryan. Am I right? Yeah. Book, yeah. Books. But the teacher didn't want to go along with the curriculum. She was teaching her own shit. What's with the cat, Uncle Bruno? Is that a cat toy or did he is he a killer too? That's a killer oh. cat right there. That's, <laughs> the floor. That's my defense mechanism. Fucking cat. He's just like a goddamn mountain lion. Look at him. There he goes. <laughs> Somebody's fucked. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, anyway, Amazon show March 6th. It's is, pissed because I put it on the camera. It shouldn't I shouldn't have done that? <laughs> uh, Uncle Bruno Pelosi and her and her annoying clapping for your president. She she's she's uh, she's uh, I can't even say because Facebook will shut me down. Uncle Bruno, you do have a long-standing battle with Facebook, and the, and what do you want to tell Facebook? If you could tell Facebook anything you wanted to, this is the perfect platform to do it on Facebook on Big Daddy Roadshow. Wait a minute, what? You know what? They can't hear you say that. Zuckerberg, really. we have cement ready for you. This is just a show. The opinions of the guests of the Big Daddy Roadshow. Are not necessarily the opinions of Tom Dwyer, Big Daddy, or Ryan, or remake of Bur Weekend at Bernie's. It's going to be a weekend at the Zuckerbergs. Is that when the guy was dead and his hand was flopping all around? Remember? That was a great and like, Weekend at Zuckerbergs. Up in some state where it's legal to smoke marijuana and watch that movie. 
there goes Uncle Bruno. That's the U.S. government kicking him off the air. Uh, by the way, Pennsylvania has nine fulfillment and warehousing locations for Amazon. Yeah, there's Mr. Bezos there. My question for this fella, is he good or bad? Is, it, is Amazon good or bad for us? People uh, at this point, at this point, it's almost kind of a, it's almost kind of monopolizing that that portion of the industry. Right, kind of Amazon, exactly. And Jack also has an interesting theory on banks. Why, why do we call it banks? The banks where you put your money. Why do we put our money in the banks? I'm not going to go any further. No more teasing. Jack's going to talk about that on March 6th. It's crazy to hear Jack's thoughts on banks. So Amazon is what? A river. And what holds the water in? Banks. Right. See what we're doing here? Yeah. Is Amazon too big to be good? Is Bezos a good guy? I would like to interview this guy. Would you interview him with me, Ryan, if we had the chance? Absolutely. And and I don't I don't think he's and any of these people that own these big corporations, I don't think they started out as bad guys. I think right. maybe maybe some of them after a certain point in time, you know, money talks. You can get greedy. Uncle Bruno said that he's leaving his wife, so therefore he's pulling out of New York. Is this true? I don't know. But I was checking into like what, you know, what was all about Bezos and I was like I think this is his wife, Ryan. Hubba hubba. Not bad. Hubba hubba. I mean, they they don't live they don't live in New York. They live in uh, Medina, Washington. Where is that? Out by Seattle. That's just outside of Seattle. Yes. So it's not like they live there. So they're going to put a warehouse there in, or their headquarters, rather, unless they had planned on moving there. <laughs> John says, "Oh Lord, going there? Rivers? What's next? Bird sign?" Excuse me one second, Ryan. Yeah. I'll be right back. This is the Big Daddy Road Show. Ryan, tell them we're going to finish up with um, just I'm going to read the chat a little bit and give some shout outs. I'll be right back. I, I think I have a bloody nose. This is crazy night on the Big Daddy Road Show. I'll be right back, Ryan. Cover me here. I'll be here. We'll finish up, folks. This is the Big Daddy Road Show. I'm not done talking about Amazon or probably that badass. Okay. I think I'm okay. Let me see. I'm not bleeding, am I? Am I bleeding? It doesn't look like you're bleeding. If you, not hanging up for if you if you were bleeding, I would say it was probably a government conspiracy. No snot, no snot. Then I told does, you we had to be slippery with snot does, tonight. But doesn't I doesn't appear that there's any snot. No. You look really close. Nope, it looks good. Okay, I'm still gonna wipe it. As as good as a nose could look. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? Anyway. Is Cortez wrong about New York? Is she right? I would also like to interview her if she's up for it. Ryan, would you interview this young lady with Big Daddy if we had the opportunity? Sure. Yes. Cool. There's pretty much nobody then that you wouldn't interview with Big Daddy if we had the chance. No, I'd interview anyone. You would not be intimidated if it was President Trump. You'd be cool with that. You'd be down with that. Yeah. I probably would squirt in my pants a little bit if it was Trump. I don't know. Dude, he knows he knows a lot of people, that fucking guy. Yeah, he knows a lot of people. A lot of fucking people. Anyway, so in closing this badass from Colorado, man, could you imagine? I couldn't imagine. I know I wouldn't give the fuck up though. I wouldn't well, give the I, fuck up. I I mean there there's there's cougars in our area. I've seen yeah. them before. Yeah, they say, you know, well, Nittany Lions in Pennsylvania, right? So yeah. Yeah, I mean, then, I mean, then, then again, I was on a, I was on a four wheeler. I, I was able to outrun it because it saw me. Right. Oh my. Yeah. Really? Where was that about? Uh, that was actually uh, be between McAdoo and Hazelton, back in the silts. No kidding. I've seen coyotes out there. Yeah, they're out there as well. Mangly looking little bastards, aren't they? Yeah. So anyway. Do you understand what I'm trying to do here? I don't know if John understands. I don't, but John, I'm not even trying to explain it because it's so deep and so crazy. Let Jack Neary explain it to everybody. And if you have any questions, just jump in the chat. Also, when we change the software, Ryan, 
Yes. What are we going to have to do? Tell the audience what platform we're going to be. Uh, we're going to be using a software called XSplit. Uh, as far as connecting to the show live, uh, that's to be determined. Yeah, I'm going to find out which, which process is going to work the best and the smoothest. Uh, right now, I'm actually looking at a, at a platform called Zoom. Uh, it's like a conferencing application, but it's, a, it's an app on the phone or a desktop. You can, you can connect through phone or, or a computer, either or. And it'll bring you into a conference call with everybody that's in the call. A video conference. Let me ask you something. Yes. If you put shades on Simon Bar Sinister, that's who that is, by the way. Mm. If you put shades on this guy, wouldn't he look a little bit like this guy? Yeah. Yeah. See his ray yes. gun? See, Jack yes. said that shit might seem really good right now in the short term, but in the long term, it's going to be a real pain in the ass for us. Anyway, maybe if we educate people, we we educate people, then people will be a little bit better prepared to come what's coming down the pike. Yeah. Jack said there's a lot coming down the pike <laughs> to stay mm-hmm. alert. But uh, you didn't hear that from me. See us on March 6th, if we're still allowed on the internet. Big if. We could be pulled. Could be pulled. Anyway, I because they're doing that with certain shows. I All heard. Right. That's what I hear. That's talk on the street. That's not cool, though. That's not very American. No, not at all. But then again, we agreed to Facebook terms of agreements when we make accounts. So Right. But remember the website, BigDaddyRoadShow.com. BigDaddyRoadShow.com, if shit ever, you know, you want to know what the fuck's going on. Well, if we ever get kicked off Facebook, I have a, I have a plan for that. So, Do you think that we could just rent a pirate ship? or, or uh, Well, if it was a pirate ship, we would just be stealing it, wouldn't we? And we could do like pirate radio from the middle of the ocean somewhere. That would be cool. Maybe, we could, find, maybe we could find an abandoned oil rig. Set up shop. Hey, I have a question for you, Ryan. If I had yes. a video right now, let me see. I want to, we're going to test something out. I think Be Live might have added a feature. Let me see. One second. This is a test. Okay. During a really cool Friday night free for all barn burner of a show. Please I hope, pray for that baby with the 102 fever. I hope Speed Racer can come live. We miss this guy so much. Speed Racer, if you're watching, we miss you. Come back soon. He's worked so hard all day, and then he's such a good dad taking care of the kids. Always been. They're solid. I respect that. Um, okay, Absolutely. so here it is. Now, if I if I hit play, let's let's listen up and see if we can hear this because I have no idea. I didn't even play this. Um, um, let's see. Elon Musk would be a great uh, person to have on the show. He would be an awesome person to have onto the show. By the way, if he comes on the show, don't offer him weed. Okay, no, 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 we need to offer him weed if he comes on the show. Okay, let, one second. Let's see if we hear this. Oh, no, we're not going to. Hold on one second, Ryan. Yeah, no problem. Cool, though. Check that out. I can change the graphics. I didn't know I could do that. Look at Avenged Sevenfold. That was a great conversation, by the way. That was. I, I, I really enjoy talking music with Michael. He's, he's nice to have on. What the fuck is going on with the Amazon? I didn't know you could do this. Let me get this video up of underdog because I'm thinking like we're like the underdog here. Uh, I want to see if I can work this because wouldn't it be weird that this this pro- this service gets better right when we're switching back to the other one? I mean, hey, if it gets better, then stick with it. If they could make it better, we could stay with Be Live in two and a half weeks. Like if, if they, they if they make it better, we'll stick it out and see if it gets even better than that. If Be Live pulls it up, pull you know pulls one out, you know hits it. Hits a home run and makes some changes for us. We'll stay with them, but if not, we're we're gonna jump ship. What's your plan? By the way, uh, my plan is to put us on a on a application called XSplit. Uh, it's it's a little different than B Live because B Live is is an all in one app that uh, you're connecting to and it's connecting to Facebook Live. XSplit also connects to Facebook Live, but in order to have guests onto XSplit, we're actually using a third application to do that. Whereas Be Live is just a single standalone application, uh, the benefits of that is it's, it's got to be better quality. So the cameras are going to look way better. Well, I mean, the cameras are only going to look so good. Uh, Facebook limits you to 720p, uh, which is a step under you know high definition, which is 1080p. 
uh, Facebook limits you to that and to 30 frames per second, which doesn't matter for a, a podcast. You know, you higher frames per second isn't going to, isn't going to, you wouldn't notice it for what we do. Uh, so, I mean, it's not going to be better qualities and camera quality, but as far as like being able to put graphics up, there's going to be a lot more that can be done with that. You can have different transitional effects. Hey, there's underdog. There is underdog. Hey, you know that symbol up there? Which symbol up where? Up, up. Oh, you don't see it. Uh, it's it's over there to me. Are you talking to the yin yang symbol? You're pointing the wrong way, Ryan. Well, no, that's which way it is to me. No, but it's on the. You got to. Oh, okay. That's the way it is to you. But really, it's up here for everybody watching the show. It doesn't matter, Ryan. It's yin yang. Yes. Oh, you you said that already, didn't you? Yes, I did. What a great show. We even had John crushing balls in the chat, and he's a professional writer, Ryan. Like, he writes sports, too. He talks about hockey and stuff. Yeah. But he's been on the show. He's a rock star. And he's also the guy I'm going to get with if shit hits the fan in America. <laughs> because I, I, will, I will just, whatever he says to do, if he says, get down, we're going to get down. You know, just listen to John. Um. Shout out to all the sir, armed services people watching the Big Daddy Road Show. We love you guys. You know, we support you guys. Absolutely. And, um, you know, if you're out there in some shitty post, here's to you. We're always thinking about you. I've been doing that since I'm five years old at the VFW in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. God love my father, who served in Korea, froze his balls off and got frostbite and stuff. So maybe not frostbite and severe, but... He had some serious um, circulation issues after coming back from Korea. It wasn't just a police action. That's what I'm told. You know, and my dad was kind of drunk when he said it, so I believe. Uh, he passed away in 1984. God bless him. Hey, everybody, would you do us a favor? Would you share the show? Uh, and would you let everybody know that we're moving to Wednesdays uh, starting on March 6th? I have to take a couple weeks off, Ryan. What are you taking I a couple of weeks off for, Big Daddy? I have to start ordering supplies to finish a roof. You know, we had some people drone my shit. I wonder if they'll drone my shit when we're working. I got to go get another shot in the spine. Um, do the work, hopefully, and then come up with my plan for the summer. I got to get on the road, Ryan. I just got to. So Jack was saying we should sell towels. Like big towels. daddy towels. You know, like the terrible towels? Yes. Pittsburgh have? We were thinking about doing big daddy roadshow towels. Like we could sell them really cheap, but then like people like Nancy, when she's drinking out of the mason jar, could be like, "Woohoo!" Watching the show from home, swinging the Big Daddy Road Show, terrible now. <clears throat> it was just a thought that Jack Neri has. Jack Neri wants us to start selling stuff, so we need to get with upstart companies. I should have somebody making my digs. You should have somebody giving you vape pens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're yeah. working. We're fucking working here. Let's get some. Let's start talking some shit up about See, some if, upstart if company. The, if the company that made this stuff like, sponsored me, I might tell everybody what I'm using. Right. right. Maybe. I mean, you hear me give shout outs to local businesses, you know, and I don't mind if people, you know, like Bruno dropped the shows on the on the internet that are popular because if we all help each other, we all rise. We all rise together. All the boats rise together. So stick together and do some good. For Christ's sake. Anyway, uh, let's finish up with this. This was interesting. Let's talk about these religions and let's wind it up. Let's land a plane. Um, in the chat, if you want to, I'm going to give shout outs in the chat. Uh, hashtag anybody who puts in hashtag FNFA and shares the show will get a shout out. And also Ryan will come to your door, knock on it and give you whatever you want. Rub down or a hand job. Okay, he's not going to do that. <laughs> but it seemed like a good idea off the fly. But we listen, we'll be grateful, eternally grateful, if you share the show. Absolutely. Um, we have we do have swag, by the way. If you go to the website, you can go to the store. If you're on your cell phone, there's three little lines. Click on a three. It's just like on Pornhub, Brian. There's just always like, three little Just lines. like Pornhub. Click on it. You go to BigDaddyRoadShow.com, click on that, and then click on Store. And you can check out all kinds of Big Daddy Roadshow swag. We should get you on a T-shirt, Ryan. I need a headshot. Everybody on the show, except for Bruno, I need a headshot. Because I'm never going to give up that cigar. 
By the way, did you ever notice that Bruno doesn't smoke when he's in the house? Yes. Weird. It's almost like his wife's got him by the balls. But you didn't hear that from me. Kind of like the one that kind of like the one that you showed that everybody missed. Right. Even Sarah. God bless her heart. Um, okay, so religion. Don't ask me where I was getting into it, but last night I wanted to buy a book. I was turned on to this interesting way of thinking. And, you know, we can't know. There's thousands of religions, right? How many religions are there? Something like 5,000 last time I checked? Too many to count. Right. But some of them go back and some, go, some of them go back in time, excuse me, like way back. I mean, not, for, not as far back as this shit. Hey, it's Weedasaurus. Hey. I, I wasn't going to do this show without Weedasaurus being on it. No fucking way. Go back a long time, this fucking crazy bastard. He's got to go. Look at him going down the steps. He might need his own camera. He, he definitely, he needs like animatronics. Yeah, I said it. Look at him. He's shocked. What the fuck? Look at him. Animatronics. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. See, I, never, I never, I never knew how many small religions there actually were till I started looking into it. Right. So that was me last night. We were having a conversation. I said, "Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what's your religion?" So check this out. She kind of said, she kind of said, like between a Wiccan and like this uh, American Indian religion type of thing. I'm thinking it might have come. I don't know, was it part of the Cherokee or, you know, when the Indians branched off, that's what happened way back when. Yeah. It went to different groups, but I think the Hopi Indians, where are they at? In New Mexico? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember my readings on that. But anyway, I was looking for books on audible.com mm -hmm. and I ended up not finding one book on this religion called the red path. And I was like, Oh, that sounds really interesting. And she was kind of like telling me she was into the Red Road. It's called The Red Road or The Red Path. And it says, um, here's what it says, I guess, on Wikipedia. It's The Red Road is a modern English language concept of the right path of life. So it's, you understand? It's like... It's kind of like, a, kind of like a, a spiritual religion. Yeah, and it's more earthly. It's all earthbound, you know? It's like Mother Nature, and we should all care for Mother Nature kind of a yeah. thing. Um. And it was inspired by some of the beliefs found in a variety of Native American spiritual teachings. So Native Americans would be American Indians, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, they're saying New Age. I don't know if it's New Age. How could it be New Age if it's, oh, it's a version of, okay. So that makes sense. So really quick, uh, and then you could bring up, what was the religion you were going to bring up? Uh, Unitarian Universalism. And there's also a, a, another neat one called Rastafari. Rastafari. That was actually, uh, if you look at the first part of it, Rasta was actually uh, developed in Jamaica. Huh. Interesting. So last night on, um, on audible.com, I go and I search for the red path. I'm thinking I didn't work hard enough 14 hours a day trying to produce this show. No, let me spend a little more time. Uh, Michael says his connection is crap, by the way. No sweat, Michael. You rocked it tonight. Like, yeah, not great. Hard. Um, no sweat. Uncle Bruno, you did great, too. Thank you very much. It's just a show, folks. It's just a show. Okay, so <laughs> Uncle Bruno says, one of Delta's sayings, we love to fly. You can tell that by their carts flying around and hitting people. <laughs> what the fuck, Uncle Bruno? Some of the posts on the Big Daddy Roadshow cracked me up. Um, yeah, so let me let me read this because I and it's just sort of sort of getting things out there. People that you know they might hear us talking about something and they're like, "Oh, cool, I'm going to check into that." Uh, plus, we got to end this show soon because Bella's got to pee. Yeah, it's got to pee. So uh, here's the seven steps of walking the red road. Number one. Observe nature with awe and gratitude. A sense of love and respect for all creation will begin to grow within me. Okay, so, you know, be aware and be grateful all the time about your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Be living a now kind of a thing. So I can yeah. understand the new age thinking. Number two, learn to trust creator and accept my circumstances. Overcoming adversity will produce spiritual growth within me as I walk the red road. Three. 
seek for truth within myself that I may remove hypocrisy and evil intent from within my heart. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Bezos is into the red road. I don't know. That, Number, that could be a question we could ask him if we interview him. Perfect. Number four, repent and humbly surrender my will to creator so that I may become one with great spirit. See, I always, that's why I put Raquel Welsh's picture up. I don't know if she's American Indian or part American Indian. That wasn't really the point. The dress, though, the old dress, you know what I mean? The handcrafted works of these artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't realize how big. Do some research on that, how many Indians there were. And anyway, let me get back to this list. But remind me to tell you about the book I ended up buying on Audible last night. There was no book on the Red Road. So if somebody's out there, write a book on it and get it on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, I'd buy it. Number five, communication with great spirit from my heart and then listen and live the insight. Oh, my computer turned off and live the insight I receive. Live the insight I receive. I, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. It was this why I kind of went with the way I did with the show tonight. Just yeah. kind of go with my heart. Uh, number six, learn true abstinence. It is in serving others with an attitude of loving kindness that I create a flow of living waters, which will purify my heart. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. And lastly, number seven, attain complete joyous harmony with great spirit. Walk the red road. This requires that I totally surrender my will to the will of great spirit and love others unconditionally without judgment, because that is who I am. That's hard to do on this show because it's a comedy show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we got to What are you going to do? We cheat a little. But anyway, that's the red road. What did you have? Uh, what did you um, look at Carla's in the chat? Respect nature. Leave it as you found it. I'm always cleaning up after jerk offs that don't. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, I love you. We still got to try and get ice fishing, but I don't know if we're going to make it happen. Damn it. I should have went last time, Ryan. I was afraid I was going to fall on the ice and it didn't look like it was slippery at all. I also wasn't, uh, I was having that one bad back day. Um, John says, I tested to be game commission. I hate all things that screw with nature and animals. Rock and roll. So, yeah, let me see. Anybody else? Let me check the chat, Ryan. What was, yeah, yeah, while I'm checking the chat, what, uh, what was the religion and a little bit about what you were talking about? Uh, well, the one I was looking at was uh, Rastafari. Uh, it's actually an, an Abrahamic religion. It was developed in Jamaica during the 30s. Uh, it's classified as a new religious movement and a social movement. There's really no authority and control of the movement. Uh, let's see. It's Ross, uh, Rastas refer to their beliefs, which are based on an interpretation of the Bible as Rastology. Uh, let's see. What else can I find here? Uh, beliefs. Uh, they refer to the totality of the religion's ideas and beliefs as Rastology. Uh, man, the Wikipedia page sucks for this. It just kind of repeats itself. I see. Yeah, well, I mean, that's all I wanted to do is bring, just to give people, you know, it's always good to learn new things. And I kind of like always kind of did those things anyway. Yeah. You know, I left uh, the Catholic Church years ago. And it just kind of makes sense when you're in nature to kind of like not be a jerk off like Carla says. But there, you know, I was just going to get coal a couple of weeks ago recently. And, you know, that road by Club 40? Yes. It's like the new dumping grounds. What the I, fuck? It's, it's gotten bit there. There was a freaking couch and a TV laying there. Uh, I guess it was about two weeks ago I was out there. What the fuck, people? You could put the, can't you put shit out in the city? Aren't they collecting garbage like township? Like, what the fuck's the problem with the trash? I have no idea. It's crazy, man. Well, pe people have no fucking respect anymore. They don't care. Nancy, what does this mean? What is 11% plugged uh, Her up? phone's at 11%, but she's plugged up. She's plugged up at 11%. I miss Nancy. I wish she could be live with us, but her internet connection sucks balls. So, Nancy, when you get your connection fixed, you'll be back on the air. Dare I say that her internet connection is a train wreck? It is a train wreck, which is one of the strains of the month. Or cannabis. Um, so anyway, yeah. So the Red Path, uh, if you want to check it out, or the Red Road. But don't try to order anything on audible.com because there isn't anything. At least not yet. 
So maybe soon. Coming to an Audible bookstore near you. Um, so Jack's going to come back on the 6th. And let me get the graphic up here again. Because uh, seriously, did we cover everything? Did we hit everything? If not, I want to hit everything. Uh, looks like we hit everything. Let me uh, check our bullet list quick and I'll let you know. Rock and roll. All right. So everybody, if you have any questions in the chat, this is an open mic show, by the way. Wouldn't it be great when we can we do a thing where we just have callers in? Uh, like if like just, j- put- just like voice callers? Uh-oh, Big Daddy's gone. Uh, it does look like we uh, touched on all of the information that we were looking at. Uh, didn't have Queen of Gore on. Hopefully her mother's doing well. She's in the hospital, so prayers out to, to Queen of Gore, to Heather. Uh, let's see. We talked to Avenged Sevenfold with Michael. We talked Donald Trump for a little bit. We talked uh, Amazon. And we talked that badass that choked out a mountain lion. By the way, hi, Carla. I don't think I said hi to you yet. Looks like we got some graphics up of N Sevenfold. The badass that choked out the mountain lion. There's Underdog. And by the way, our strain of the month, train wreck. If you want to feel euphoric, happy, uplifted, relaxed, and creative, train wreck might be the strain for you. Also has very good medicinal, very good uh, medicinal aspects of it uh, to relieve stress, pain, depression, lack of appetite, and headaches. So if you really, Big Daddy, if you really want to get the munchies, train wreck might be for you. Uh, I'm on a diet, right? Like a pretty serious one of cheese and rice. If you haven't paid attention, oh, I paid attention. That's why I said it. You're trying to test me. <laughs> Last thing I did is munchies. Well, how do I play this? What do I have to do here? To I, play I don't have t- any any time in using uh, the Be Live app, so I can't help you there. What the fuck happened here? Underdog has taken over our screen. <laughs> And it says Nancy's still 11% plugged up. That sounds really, when you think about it, when I read it the second time, right, it doesn't sound right. No, no, it sounds pretty filthy. <laughs> <laughs> She's just 11, and Bruno says thumbs up. Just 11%, so I hope it's at least 12 inches. Bruno says, fucking Facebook cut me out. Can't come back live. Fuck you, Facebook. Wow. Bruno gets a lot of shit for liking stuff. He really does. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Are we still underneath underdog? I'm gonna what the hell? There's the alarm. That's the alarm. You know what that means? What does that mean, Big Daddy? I don't know. I think that's when we're supposed to put the trolley away, like uh Mr. Rogers. You know, remember when the trolley went back? Yes. And they would feed the fish and you say, Good night, kids. This is the Big Daddy Road Show, Friday night free for all. Hey, what? What, Ryan? What? Huh? Guess huh? what's gonna happen? We're gonna what's fuck gonna you. happen? We're going to fuck things up. We're going to change the show around a little bit. We're going to do lives on Wednesday night. This gives me the ability to get people that work on weekends, really cool people like sports people and comedians and stuff like that to come on the show. So we're going to switch it up and we're going to do a show in the middle of the week where we're going to talk a little bit about the last couple of days and we're going to talk a little bit about the next couple of days, but we're going to stay in the now. You dig me? I dig it, Big Daddy. Friday night free for all. What's the strain of the month? Strawberry jam? Strawberry Jam, train wreck, and uh, Queen Bee, or some shit. I don't know. Ryan, you did an excellent job. Thank you very much. Oh, no problem. I appreciate it. We did cover everything. I think we Happy did cover birthday. everything. You enjoy yourself at the comedy show that you don't know who it is, but you think you know who it is. I can't wait to hear the report. You'll get a report from me, definitely. All right. Do you have anything to say or plug before I go? Do you want to sell anything like underwear or a T-shirt? You have. Well, I'm only wearing a white T-shirt, and I don't sell underwear, so I think we're about covered. Would you sell your T-shirt if somebody in the audience wanted to buy it? Yes. If you signed it, would it cost extra? Yes. Okay. All right. This is kind of weird. I don't know how to – I didn't come up with an ending for the show. Should we play some Avenged Sevenfold? Uh, Yeah. Actually, see if if they have Warmness on a Soul. That's a great song. Say it one more time slow. Uh, Warmness on the Soul. Warmness on the soul. 
Okay, shout out to Avenge Sevenfold. Alexa. Uh, Ryan, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with my head. It's all this talk of the strain of the month. Um, what was it called again? Alexa, play Avenge... This is what Aven- you told me. I would recommend it Alexa, in case I stop. think people are... I couldn't find any enabled video skills okay. that can play that. This is going Go badly. to the Alexa app to Alexa, manage your video skills and devices. Alexa, stop. It's not going well, Ryan. We want to end the show. This is a great show. We're going to slice this up into pieces. We're going to come back on March 6th. Wednesday show called Midweek Mashup of the Big Daddy Road Show. Jack Neary returns. He's going to fucking tear shit up. Alexa, play. Go ahead, Ryan. Avenge Sevenfold. Worm the, uh, she cut out. We recently listened to All Blues from Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. It's not the ending I imagine, Brian. Alexa, play Worm This on the Soul by Avenge Sevenfold. If you want chat up on the screen, Worm This on the Soul by Avenged Sevenfold, starting now on yep. Amazon Music.
Alexa, thank you. Anytime. Good night, everybody. Good night, Ryan. Good night, Big Daddy. Fun show. Fun, fun show. See you on March 6th. See you on March 6th, bud. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some shameless ads up and probably some more chat. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think the show's over. Is, are we still live? Yes, fuck? we're still live. Okay, this is awkward. Fuck. Hmm. Awkward for you, but not for me. Probably not <laughs> as much for you. You're not working. <laughs> That's nuts. Okay, uh, we're officially over here. I'm gonna drop Ryan. Then I'm out of here. Then some shameless plugs. Uh, please share the show. Hashtag BDRS if you're on Twitter. At sign EDRS podcast. I love the smoke screen. Make yourself smoky and then I'll make you drop. Look at him. Gone. Oh, there he's still there. Shit. Okay, he's gone. Ryan, great job. Thank you, Uncle Bruno. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you uh, to the Queen of Gore. Even though you couldn't make it on, we know you really wanted to be on. And uh, please, Ryan, put her link down below. Put links to everything that we mentioned on tonight's show articles i'll put the articles in i have all the pages still open and uh i'll see you march 6th and i think we're gonna have the new set done by then so it should be pretty exciting a couple weeks off and we'll be back this is big daddy this is the big daddy road show peace